Welcome, fellow explorers, to Lawrence's Factorio Space Exploration and Crastorio 2 Adventure. On the once verdant planet of Norvis, we greedily harvested its precious resources, delving deep into its core in our quest to satisfy our industrial systems. Yet our never-ending thirst for knowledge propelled us beyond our home into the vast expanses of space. Traversing the solar system, we unearthed exotic materials with strange electrical and mechanical properties using powerful railguns to fling them back home. But our hunger for discovery knew no bounds. To satiate our factory, we crafted interplanetary spaceships, venturing further into the unknown. Join us in our next stream as we expand our empire interstellar, facing new challenges and unveiling the mysteries of the universe. Together we will soar to greater heights, exploring uncharted territories and embracing the wonders of the cosmos. The factory must grow. Lotus doesn't connect to the train. Hello everyone, welcome to Lawrence Plays, and it's a Monday, so we're playing some more Factorio, and with K2 and, and uh, Space Exploration, as always. And uh, yeah, today I have quite a long um, to-do list to have a, have, a, have a run through, but we'll get back to that in a moment. So, hello everyone, hello DPEM, he hello Peter, and of course hello to uh, Tristan, Mike and Mark, although I've kind of, we've, been, we've been chatting a little bit in the Hi. background before things got started. So I hello. spawned at spawn, and I'm very confused. Oh, that's a weird thing for you to do. I'm, I'm here. Like... When I logged off, oh. I think I was on the Gladrian. Are you no longer yourself? Have you got your inventory? I've got my full inventory. Or at least I've got a full inventory. It looks very like mine. Now let's look at my armour. That looks pretty What's much like my armour. Yeah, I don't recognise any of that stuff. I, I, way back when I think there. the ship was in flight, in fairness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's probably docked now, so your surface no longer exists. Well, that's Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I mean, in fairness, that's genuinely not the end of the world. Yeah, it's probably the best thing that could have happened, given the uh, given given the surface you were on has disappeared. <laughs> yeah, um, well, but if you use the Universe Explorer to select the Cladrian surface, it's still there. Yeah, it's sort of. No, it's not. It's not, it's part of no, the Norbit surface. Well, yes, it's part, of, it's part of Norbit, but it still no, it has... No, it forwards you to Norbit. Yeah. Because mm. the centre of the Caladrian is presumably zero zero in on the Caladrian surface. Well, then, let's find this ship is in orbit. That is not zero zero. Are you but zero it, zero? No. It is yes. a specific point though, which then probably doesn't <laughs> match. Oops. The Norbit one when it lands in orbit. True. Ah, so hello, yes, hello mm. other, other people, hello Screeve, hello regular, hello first last, welcome, welcome all. Um, yes, Mark is de de destroying his spaceship, I, I, I'm not sure why, but I'm sure he has a good, well, someone <laughs> is destroying Mark's spaceship. I'm sure yes. he has a good reason for it, maybe he's, maybe he's upgrading to, a, to a, a bigger and better version. It's because he upset me, all of you should learn your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to switch from the uh, many little uh, requester chests to a big warehouse chest, so can uh, drop blueprints in there for easier... Uh, and that's uh, going to, and that involves completely r ripping out all of the in innards of your ship as well. Yeah, and I all wanted to upgrade the cool. machines uh, to have uh, more engines on the back, so uh, I need more space there. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, so so Mark is having an absolute bot frenzy while he uh, takes everything out and puts them into these uh, into these chests of hopefully temporary shame over here. Exactly. <laughs> At least I did that. Yes, the, yeah, that's probably a good thing. Right, so I have many, many things to do, as I've been, as I was saying. Um, so the first thing was uh, was turning that piece of elevator cable round down. Uh, sorry, sorry, turning no, turning the um, turning the elevator cable providing belt round down on uh, on Norvis because I uh, when I when I moved some stuff around, I forgot I, I got I, I broke it. So that's now feeding elevator cable back in over here again. Um, I also need to power the nearby robot port. And I also need to, uh, using a mouse left handed and went the wrong way around is difficult. There we go. Hello, Sila Mordor. Welcome. Uh, so yes, this this warehouse here, no, this request chest is supposed to be pulling stuff out of the system. Uh, supposed to be pulling elevator cable out of the system and feeding it into the well into the elevator. But it's not being, it's not, it's not got any um, any robo coverage at the moment because this this uh, robo port down here isn't powered. So if we shove a uh, cable a pylon in there, then that'll get powered here. All this will start working, and that'll pull any any excess uh, uh, elevator cable out of the logistics system and stick it into the elevator where it belongs. It may be a little bit gradual for it to do that because we've got two loaders feed, both feeding in here. Um, but I'm sure it will get it through. Get it, 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 it'll probably get it in there sooner or later. And to be honest, even if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Uh, what's next? 
the next thing is to prevent... Oh yes, the Naquium Jam. Yeah, this this is a weird one. I, I talked about this a bit in the video, and I imagine probably most of you have watched the videos. So I suspect, given the viewership numbers, I expect most people who watch the streams also watch the videos, and probably not vice versa. Um, but just in case, so yeah, down here we've got the um, these 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 centrifuges are so are working on the um, on the on the naquium na uh, types turning into naquium. Yes, we do indeed have a shortage of everything, Elia. You're quite right. <laughs> so over here, yes, we, we're we're making the um, the naquium ingots and the naquium crystals. They're being fed up to here. However. On the rare occasions that we actually have enough naquium over in Norbit, uh, we stop letting it through over here, so we don't, so we don't end up with too much of one and not enough of the other. And then this belt backs all the way up down here, and then eventually the crystals back all the way up into here, and that causes these these centrifuges to stop running. And when they stop running, they carry up well. They 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 they, they don't stop until they've got a, until they've got a few machine loads worth of stuff in their inventory down here. And then when those empty out, it, it empties out in whatever order it is it empties in. But it does one, it does all of one thing, then all of the next thing, and all of the next thing, and all of the final thing. And that means that you can get to a point where the uh, belt down here is completely clogged up with perhaps Vitalic Reagent, and the um, and, and these, and then you're not able to take out the Nacrotite Crystals, and therefore the system breaks. <coughs> and so, there are um, there are a couple of, there are a couple of ways to fix this. Um, I've got my emergency oh no it's broken again fix, which is to put in a piece of belt here, which gets this whole thing flowing, and that seems to be enough to deal with it, which kind of surprises me, but it is. Um, one way I thought of to fix it is to, is to put in extra buffers down here with a couple of small chests to take enough of the powder and enough of the enriched out of the uh, out of the machines when when something goes funny, and then to feed it back through as, uh, into here. And I think that should work, because that would mean we carry on unloading these centrifuges until until it jams up just on crystal, and that is okay. Jamming up on crystal is fine, because then when we start to use it again, the crystal gets pulled through. Um, the other alternative is something that's a little bit more um, elegant, uh, and therefore I don't have, probably don't have room to build it. But let's, let's grab some of that. And let's nip into the blueprint editor and have a, have a quick look at this because this, this is this is based on something someone said in the um, in in the comments, so which seemed like a, seemed like an excellent idea. So along here, what do we have? We have um, we have a belt feeding it over here, which is feeding in the uh, the two types of whatever, uh, and then over here we are taking out the. Um, yeah, and then over here we're feeding in the the the, the green the uh, reagent, and then feeding out a bit of absolutely everything. So the way what we'd need to do here is firstly we'd move that over to this side like this, uh, feed the reagent in over here. So we put the uh, put a long handled inserter in there like that. Then we get rid of this bit, and then we'd have all of that unload into a two by two st uh, strong box over here like that, and then be fed back in like this. Except we'd use a filter inserter on this side. Um. Filter inserter? Filter inserter. Uh, like that to unload it. Now the question is how do we get out the stuff we actually want? Well we could put it, we could do it like this and then have a belt coming out like this that goes onto a, a, an output belt over here. And the idea then is that this would take all of, this would take all of the, the stuff out of here, put it into this box and then pass through here. Um, and we could have, we could set up some sort of um, limiter on the other side. Now perhaps uh, actually what, yeah, uh, what's Ely saying? Yeah, using yeah, using loaders would actually probably be slightly better. So if I move all of this out an extra one, like that, that was my that was the thought I was coming I was I was coming to next. If I, if I do that, then oh no, putting no putting stuff back in with it no putting stuff back in with a loader won't work. I'd need two loaders, so that becomes significantly harder. So yeah, I don't think I don't think I can realistically do that. Let's move this back in again. <clears throat> but that means we then need to have I guess. Two filter inserters on this side over here that only that only pass in when there's less than a certain amount in this box over here. Um, what's the point? Yeah, good point. If I use lo if I use loaders over here, I could do that, like that, like that. Yeah, that could work. And then on here, I can put in a filter that says I only want to do the um, the uh, enriched and the uh, where is it? The powder, and finally the the uh, vitalic reagent. Those can be passed around there. And yes, because loaders will load even when a, a, an inserter will only load until there's enough to do so two or three runs in the machine. A loader will keep putting it in until there's until there's significantly more. So actually, yes, this seems to be slightly better. <clears throat> um, this will also allow uh, more out, more uh, stuff to fl more machines to be run off a single belt before you start to overload it. So that's 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 a nice bonus. Oh, and then this this would need to be set up to be uh, to only out output the uh, the crystals like that. Um, 
<clears throat> yeah, so I think this has potential. Um, I'd, then I don't need those. Actually, that can drop down to just being a green inserter. Like that. There we go. Yeah, that seems that seems neater. And it's using the advantage that the loaders give you. And then here oh, we're doing that recipe already. Uh, let's see what let's see what chat was saying while I was doing that. <laughs> Possibly a power shortage on the Naquian planet. Yeah, we've we've got power shortages on a couple of planets. I think at least I fixed one of them. I think I don't think I fixed the other one. So I probably do still need to fix the Talos um, power problem. Um, don't need the chest. Yeah, don't need the chest. You say. Yeah, the, the, yeah. So this will be better for the UPS than the than the previous than, than having a chest in their version. Um, okay. Yeah. The, the yeah the the Vulcanites to set up make yeah it, make, it makes it makes sense to do things like this because you can you can keep things in a little bit a little bit smaller and a little bit tidier. Um, so I guess the answer the next thing to do is going to be put a bajillion copies of this out onto the uh, out onto Talos and see how it goes. <clears throat> so if we grab that and no go to Talos please. Back over tiles. Let's have a quick look at the power while we're here as well, because it's a it's a thing that's been brought up. <clears throat> yeah, we are we are struggling a bit with power, so going over there and, and fixing that would also be nice. How much bigger is this? Guys, I'm really confused. It actually isn't significantly. I think probably, you, is, isn't that your normal state of being, Mike? No, oh, pretty much. You remember that we lost six Archospheres. Have you found them again? I know you said again. you found three well, of them. Yeah, the other, I found the other three as well. Oh well done. Jolly good Thank show. You. I'm so confused. <laughs> but if you look in the production chart all time, 199 have been produced from rocket launches, 208 have been consumed, and there's one what? unpolarized set of thing. So you've consumed more than you produced? Yeah, because yes. of the interbulbulizer. Don't tell him! Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Let's, let Lawrence think that we're good. <laughs> Should I just kick Mike out of chat? Yeah. That might be easier. Uh, yeah, well, you know. Um, so, so I guess it means I need to now then bring this belt down down here and, feet, and uh, to give myself a little bit more space around here to play. But other than that, all it's going to need is a big pile of blue blue um, uh, loaders, and I think I might have a few of those. So let's check that out over here. Uh, I don't. Oh, they've got a load of yellow loaders. That's not so useful. Oh, no, and actually, loads of red ones. Red would probably be fast enough for this. I suspect. I suspect. Um, because over here we've got, um, where am I? Down, down, down here we've, we've, we've got one belt, we've got a purple belt that's feeding enough to, to run all of these machines constantly. So I think red would probably be sufficient. Let's start, let's start putting some of the, some bits and pieces of belt in there to get this, this up and working. Uh, exactly, Doopy, yes. <laughs> All I'm going to say to Doopy there is, uh, watch out, because, uh, oh, if a figure slips, that'd be really awkward. Um, I think it's, I could, yes, yes, to stop feeding in from here when there's, when the, when the crystal backs up to around here. That's, that's true, that would be slightly simpler. So when there's, um, when, when we have full crystal, when, when the, the, a piece of belt down about here is full of crystal, stop feeding in over here. Yeah, that could that would actually be that would be absolutely trivial. It's not as interesting, some sort of, but it's but it's probably going to be better or at least easier. So, all right, let's do that. Over here, we will uh, read. Over here, we will uh, enable belt contents. Enable belt when crystal is less than eight. So, okay, that will now run constantly, as you see. But if we get the if the crystal starts to back up all the way along here to this point, then it'll cut off the input here, and that'll probably be enough for it to sort of flow around and, and, and stop stop ground stop jet stop in a slightly more um, organised way, should we say? Uh, oh yes, you're right. That should be a hold, not a pulse. Thank you. Yeah, we'll never get that to work. Um, yeah. So I think yes, that seems that yeah that's. It's sort of it's almost a shame because it's such such a um, a, tri a trivial and e easy easy fix. Whereas where I was going for the much bigger and more complex ones, but no, that, that it, because because of that and because I can do it so easily and so remotely, that is in fact much better. So over here, I was also trying to stock up a load of um, uh, power supplies, and this this is as, as, as it, I think it was Peter said uh, because we're running short of uh, or was it Elia? Someone said anyway we're running short of power over in Talos. Uh, so let's head over there. And build out some more uh, more power generation for Talos. So Talos orbit, go. I'll take my spaceship for this one because well, it's it's there and convenient. 
Then, let's see what else there is on the to-do list. So, Naquim Jam, we've finished. So, fixed now. So, the Beryllium and the Immersite, right. So, the um, Beryllium uh, supply has gone down quite a lot, which is a little, bit, um, a little bit concerning, and I think I might need to expand it a bit. So, looking over here at the graph, you can see that the, um, the Beryllium has dropped. It used to be basically full all the time, but it's dropped a long way down. And I don't know, this, this, there's, there's a number of things this could be because of. So, we had a... Um, we, we had a problem over here with due to the uh, immersite plate or immersium plate over here that meant we weren't producing any of these um, uh, beryllium airframe scaffold things over here, uh, and so that meant uh, we had we had a, we had a big short and, th and therefore we had a big shortage of the um, uh, of, of the low density structure. Which are, oh, which are being made up here. Here we go. So yes, those are, those are being made up here. Uh, and so that was that was a bit of a problem. Uh, but now we've fixed that. We've got a decent amount of immersion plate. And so this kicked in and has been running in, in large quantities. We've been making massive quantities of low density structures and shipping them all out around all over the place where they're needed. So that should be... Um, that should now be hopefully that should now have calmed down a little bit. We, we are still yes, we are still making the uh, low density structures, but not at quite the rate we were before. So that's going to have taken a bit of the beryllium load off the system. The other thing is that up in space, um, we were we were doing an, a lot of the a lot of the researches in particularly into uh, where is it the. Uh, Not not deep, not deep space zone, not zone discoveries, but there's another one. Oh yeah, this one, the, the long range star mapping, and that uses all of the astro science all at once. So you're getting through, so you'd be getting through massive quantities of beryllium from making all of these science packs. Now that's not an excuse. We need to have enough beryllium being brought in that this sort of thing can keep up. Um, but that could also have been contributing to a problem, and so um, maybe maybe we won't see so much of an issue in, anymore. Um, also, I think the where where does the uh, Talos ship land? That's Taras. Da, 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 ta, that's Talos N. Here, here we go. So yeah, at the moment we have we're down to only a hundred stacks of, uh, of beryllium, which isn't great. But I think the uh, the ship is on its way over, or at least it was. It, it landed during the during recording of the last video, so it makes me think it's, it's it must be nearly nearly ready. But it's, it's yeah, it's not showed up yet. Yes, you're right. That um, the the power issue is also is also a thing that needs to be needs to be sorted out. Um. <laughs> yes, yes, it's true. True. Keep it simple is 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 the right way to go. Really, I um I, I don't I don't actually disagree. Uh, it, it was the, it was the better solution. Uh, over oh yes, over here we have a virtually yeah. This, so this this warehouse is full. These two aren't quite full yet, but we're very very close to being ready to send the uh, send the spaceship off to uh to to uh to, to bring all the all the beryllium over. So we're going to get some very very soon. If we look down at the opposite end. Um, the train is sitting here filling up and is now at 85% eh, full. So things are going pretty well. We're, we are about to have a load more beryllium arriving, but we are but we have also run out in, in we haven't used up nearly all of it in the time we've been running. Oh and hello Tempe, hello. Um, yes, increasing the power may well help. Um, if these machines are running at 90% speed or 95% speed, then yes, having more power would definitely improve things quite a bit. I also noticed, remember noticing that we, we ran out of sulphur over here. In fact, we have run out of sulphur. There's going to be enough to make all the acid that's needed in order to fill up this spaceship, but we need to have quite a bit more than that over here. So I'm going to increase this um, this request. Let's put it up to 35,000. I don't think that's actually enough but for, for, to do two ships, but it will, it will help quite a bit, so we'll do that. Um... Yeah, so that's that. Yeah, that's worth doing. Yep, thank you, regular. That's that's exactly what I was thinking. Um, and then the only, and then beyond that, if I want to get it, increase it any further, I'm going to need to go out and start setting up more core mines, bringing in more more resources, and also improve the system over here. So stop using tier three modules, get upgraded to tier six, and and do, basically do a whole rebuild of this area. But I'd, I'd rather not. In a way, I kind of don't really want to do that on uh, do the design work for that on stream because even though it's a fairly simple um, pr uh, product production process for the beryllium it's it's much it's it's probably the simplest of all of the um, exotic resources well all of the the four exotic resources um i still think it'd be it's probably not gonna be the most exciting content just to, for me to be messing around with that on stream so i'll try try and avoid that a little bit uh <laughs> exactly Leo. I, the, the the viewers are far more um far more uh, uh, customizable than the in-game siren so uh, yeah it, it makes a lot more sense to use them besides the in-game alerts so they're just they're just always going look at that we're low on absolutely absolutely everything all of the time uh so yeah, it's, it's always always complaining, and we've also lo we've also lost a, a, something to, something to beacon overload as well. I should probably go and look at that. Yeah, at some it doesn't well. really matter. Fair we enough. We should fix it long term, but it's over in recycling. 
Oh uh, yes, I think I remember. I remember seeing that while I was making the videos. I think now, yeah. So we are nearly out at Telos now, so we can uh, we can get that that fix done quite soon. Um, so I guess that means let's have another look at the uh, to do list. Oops, I've just clicked on the wrong thing. Ah, I've got the wrong window up. Uh, there we go. Yeah, professionalism. Uh, right. So over here, where, where, where we've got to. So um, yeah, the monitor the beryllium. Well, I've sort of done a bit of that. We need more ships. Oh yes, we need more ships for Stardust. Let's let's copy paste one of those, and then I can at least get that up and happening. Um, so you, you are a Stardust ship. Let us copy you. Uh, get rid of those three. I know it causes problems, like weirdnesses later, but I think it's, it's better than better than having bits that we can't replace. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll take that blueprint, and then we'll go to Norbit. The problem is when you put a ship in like this, I, I sort of, I sort of want to build it somewhere else. And while I heat the um, heat, heat the heaty thing up, um, but the problem is that. It kind of needs to go here in order to get all of the fuel and stuff. And yeah, we could put in a, I could put in a fueling system over here and and, and fill it up with. Actually, do I need anything else? I, I just need no. The only extra thing I need is a beam receiver. Oh, and a water supply, presumably. Hang on, wait. Oh, it's, it's not that one. It's, this is the Stardust ship over here. So I'd, I'd have put it in the wrong place anyway. Yeah. So we need a water supply going into it to, to feed it water, and we also need to point a beam at it. But. If I can borrow one of the military beams that we're not using anymore, yeah, let's build this over here, because otherwise it's going to get in the way of all of the other ships. So do that, and then that'll get all the flooring put in. In the meantime, I can run this water pipe a bit further along. Um, there's some undergrounds needed here. What length can I put in here? That, that, that looks like a nine to me. I think I, I think I can squeeze. Yes, I can squeeze a nine in there. And go over to underground, go under there, and under there, lovely. And a bit further. Bring the water over to about here, and then I can bring it up and then work out what else is going on over here in a little while. Um, Oh, maybe it's it's more it's more the amount of time it takes to charge up the beam receiver that I'm worried about, um, regular rather than rather than the flight time from here to here. Because you're right, that that would probably be absolutely fine, but I want to heat the th heat the thing up. Um, first underground put into it too far. No, 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 it's fine. Um, I, I dragged for those, so they really really should be okay. <laughs> uh, empty train stuck at loading beryllium shouldn't be um, beryllium. No, it, it's not stuck here. It's waiting here, waiting for somewhere to call for some beryllium. So it's not, it's not leaving yet because it hasn't been told that somewhere wants beryllium. It's just, oh, did you mean at the, or did you mean over on Talos? Um, okay. Uh, yes, better beacons would and, and productivity modules would definitely help. Um, wouldn't it would give a bit of a boost certainly. So it's probably worth considering doing an upgrade there, but um, uh, not just yet. We'll see. How, we'll see how we get on with this spaceship. With this spaceship load that's about to arrive, so I can anchor this here. Let's put it in over here somewhere, like this. The question is, am I close enough here that the uh, whatever bots we've got, we've got, will start flying around and doing everything? Are there any bots here? There are. Yes, and it's linked up to here. So why have they not? Why have the why have the station's bots not come out to start helping? Why is it only my bots that are being? Useful. Stop being useful. <laughs> if I wanted to put down that much scaffolding, I would do it myself. Well, it looks. Oh, like that blue chest. You're um, quite right. Iridium's getting back up to scratch. Nice one. Um. When you say up to scratch, do you mean it's starting to run again, or we're we're starting to get over the iridium shortage well, we're having? Have a look at the. The, the point was where I pinged. Those belts were very intimately full. Uh, the ones with oh. the iridium... What is it? Powder? Powder. I'm Powder? not looking right Powder. now because I'm flying around in circles trying oh, to place yeah, nice. scaffolding. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, so the only thing we have to do is uh, threaten you to just redesign everything and then you'll fix it, or...? <laughs> I mean, you know, in fairness, all, all I did was... Uh, I looked for, did a search over the entire surface for anything with MXXXA uh, as the last user and just deleted it. And suddenly, what do you know? Got no idea how that happened. I should say I also nuked everything with uh, one cool bagel as the last user, but that's a separate conversation.
Um, no, I, I, I knew exactly what it Who's was. Who's phone's interfering is. with their um? Uh, mine's in my pocket, which is near the phone. Let's move that. Maybe that's better. <clears throat> yeah, the hydrogen, sorry, not hydrogen, nitrogen is maybe I mark that as nitrogen rather than hydrogen in my notes. That's now backing up. I think that's um, I moved a pipe and a pump round so that they were the right way around for a tank. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I and I also had a whole load of mineral machines in as well, but pressurization issue. Okay, I thought I yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't a um, a production rate issue then. Well, it, it was, but it pressurization is a problem. But yeah, I've now I'm only generating nine gigawatts of power. And I'm trying to use twelve. Oh dear, that's yeah, ridiculous. That, that's um sounds similar to a problem I'm having over here. Although I don't think my numbers are quite so big. Ooh. That might be messing up the um, Kosar spaceship in Norbert. It is entirely possible, depending on how the um, there we power go. transfer works. Now I'm using about four out, four, four yes, out of about five gigawatts, and uh, that's, that's, that seems to now be okay. Yeah, it this is. is why when you <sighs> ramped up the power stuff, the requirements there, I suggested not doing that and adding. More I power told power. you so. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, no, dude, I, I can't just hop the ship over. Oh, to-do list on screen. Thank you. Um, I can't just hop the ship over because the whole point... Of, well, I, I, I suppose I could cook it where it is as well with a beam. Yes, that, that would work. Rather than put, I suppose, yeah, I don't need, don't necessarily need the water. Yeah, fair, fair enough. Yes, I see, I, see, I see what you're getting at. Um, that, yeah, it's the, water that, it's the water that you're trying to save me from needing rather than the... Um, uh, yeah, rather than save the beam receiver. Because the beam... It's charging up the beam uh, receiver that I'm tr kind of trying to... Not you. Uh, that I'm kind of trying to avoid. I, I don't want to do with the ship sat in 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 place because it's going to take far too long and get in the way of all of the other ships that are trying to fly through. I have just kidnapped a whole bunch of logistics drones by flying my ship off. Huh? How dare you? Hey, if you want to have a look at the upgraded personal ship uh, design that's there, I added three more engines. Oh yeah. <laughs> and like and, and you switched over to uh, Naquim solar panels as well. I see. Yeah, I'm making them on the bus. I approve. Yep. <coughs> the only thing it's missing is uh, planet landing. Yeah. Why were we using um, small chests beforehand? Is it because you get greater density of stuff in them? Because that's is certainly a reason. Uh... Um, I think the they were more space efficient. Um, yeah. Were they even in a 6x6? Six six no, area? no, they were not. And yeah, for symmetry, basically, and for space efficiency. And... <laughs> right, okay. Alright, so the I mean, Talos ships... Reasons. In fact, both the Talos ships are on their way over at the moment. One with Naqui and one with, one with Beryllium, so that's um, nice. They'll bring them over to uh, over, over to Norbit, as, we, as, we've, as we've seen. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> First item I wanted. Yes, very good, Mike. Uh, <clears throat> the problem is, if I, if I, I am I, very good, <laughs> not very good at detecting sarcasm, though. Uh, yeah, the, pro <laughs> the problem is, if the, th if the to do list, if, if, if I have, if I'm not, if, if, if I've left the to do list on screen, that means I'm not looking at it anymore, and therefore I won't see things that are on it. So that wouldn't really help. Um, yeah, upgrading these to, to, to uh, productivity sixes certainly would it would certainly get quite a bit more um, uh, beryllium out, and, and then upgrading these to speed sixes as well would speed it up a bit. Um, I, I don't know whether I don't know how much of a difference that would make. Uh, it would, I mean, it definitely yes, it would definitely make things better, but I don't know whether it would make in a, a significant difference compared to what well, would it to the point where I would then wouldn't need to come out and put in more mining systems. Um, I'm assuming I don't have a huge stock of uh, tier six speed, uh, productivity modules. No, I've got two tier seven productivity modules, but nothing else. Um, well, nothing else in my pockets is what's in the spaceship. There's some modules there, but no, there. Um, oh, actually, no. Here we go. I do have 103 tier six productivity modules and 36 speeds. All right, let's go down and shove those in and uh, and sort out. Uh, um, yes, the system is indeed running out of cores. That's sort of the, that's sort of the point I was getting at. Is that in order to get the system running faster, 
I would need to get. I, I would need to have more core miners, more uh, more core mining drills, and, and more all everything of, of that sort of thing uh, set up in order to get the extra throughput that, that it kind of needs. Um, yeah, there's a little rail here, so let's take some of that and maybe put in, maybe put in a couple more while we're here. I've got a load of stations. I don't have any um, any train parts by the looks of it. I've only got space trains, and we can't put those on ground rails because that'd be weird. Um, I will take all of those pylons as well, though, actually. Um, Right, and that should that should give me enough stuff. Hopefully there'll be some... Um, are there any core mining drills up here? Uh, doesn't look like it, but hopefully there'll be enough of those down on the planet that I can do a little, a little bit of an upgrade. So, yeah, it would be nice to have a bit more... A bit more beryllium... A bit more cap beryllium capability, should we say. There's even more rail down here. What are you guys doing? Oh, you're reloading my, my train. That's um, uh, good, but also not... Uh, thanks for trying, but also not, not so useful. I probably don't need a thousand pylons, but I also have lots and lots of inventory space because I have really big armour these days, so uh, I, it doesn't really matter. Uh, no, not view opposite end, ride the thing. Click the correct button, Lawrence. There we go. Okay, so up here, I want to upgrade all of these machines to uh, the better productivity modules. I'll we'll probably just do that like this. Boink. And then all, how many have I got left? I've got 31 left. I should probably do these first. And these. Oh, no, uh, what? Where have they all gone? I don't know why they disappeared out of my hand. Um, you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And I've got seven more. I'll put them in there, I suppose. And there. Uh, hmm. It's an improvement, anyway. And then I've got the speed modules as well, so let's chuck those in. Oh, well, these are still uh, very early tier beacons as well, so that's going to be um, a little bit less speedy than, hope, than, than, you'd, than you'd hope. But never mind, it's, it's still going to be an, it's still going to be an improvement. And so now we should, yes, we should have more more stuff coming out the bottom here. Now the problem is, our be the belts are not going to be able to cope up cope with this this quantity of stuff because we've got one blue belt here, feet bringing all the beryllium, uh, sorry, the beryl ore through. So that's not really going to be enough. Uh, that said, due to the wonders of not balancing the belts properly along here, um, we seem to have plenty of space. So I need to update, upgrade these belts as well. In fact, actually, you never know. I might have um, the bits and pieces to do this on this planet. I don't have them in my in my personal inventory. But I might be able to upgrade all of this to green belt. And Everything seems to be very here. slow. We are down like at slow. 30 UPS, aren't we? That's um, mm. slower than the usual kind of slow. Mm. Mark, how much are you building? Uh, <laughs> not really. Oh. Hmm. There is yeah. a oh, well fairly large bot swarm on Norvis. A bit of which is me, but not a huge one. Oh, yeah, I oh, just you're, de removed you're deconstructing the rocket the area. The, yeah, the rockets down there and the artillery train. Okay, fair enough. So I'm not building, but the deep building. <laughs> it still counts. <laughs> you were doing something. He's technically correct with his answer, though. <laughs> yes, they say it's the best kind of correct. <laughs> now we've run out of sulfur, so we've, uh, we've the sulfuric acid has stopped. So that that's caused that to grind to a halt. Um, yeah, these machines didn't have productivity modules in them because they were just producing the beryllium sulfide to be taken away for the um, for the nacrotite production uh, for the nacrium production. Uh, so it was a, it was a lower priority, and it did, we didn't didn't care about it so much. But yeah, there's, there's no harm in putting in chucking some productivity modules in there. We might as well give it a little bit of a boost. Um, are all core, core mining recipes? They're all... oh right. So so that yeah, there, there 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 are two stages to core mining or core processing when you're doing the the more the, the the more exotic types of core fragments. So these are beryllium core fragments coming in, and when you when you process those, they get crushed down into normal core fragments and a load of beryl ore and some stone. So we're then split down here. We're splitting out the um, the beryl. We're splitting out the stone and the beryl ore along here. No, well. We're splitting out the uh, the barrel ore here, and then taking it to, so we can take the stone and the uh, pro core fragments out on this belt. They then get brought all the way down to here, where we have the, what you'll be more familiar with um, as the uh, the no normal core processing, where we then take in the normal core fragments and turn them into a little bit of almost everything, and then that comes out onto the and that gets pa then passed up the middle belt here and goes into this system, which uh, it used to do other things. Um, now has been mostly cannibalized or sort of ignored for the sake of um, other other reasons. 
Right, so now I need to go out and I need to put in more um, more coal miners. Well, there's one right there. Let's go and get that one because that's a uh, very, very low-hanging fruit. Can I, have my, can I have my character back, please? There we go. Let's go and get the low-hanging fruit. Now, this is, of course, going to massively increase the amount of power we use, I'm using on this planet, uh, which is slightly unfortunate, but um, never mind. Actually, we've got blueprints for this. Let's use, let's use the blueprints. Uh, rail, no. Rail, basic, uh, straight rail. Oh, I haven't. Uh, we're not on the. Uh, we're not on the grid. <laughs> That's a shame. All right, we'll build build from here, and we'll put it on the grid from here. Where's the coal seam? Is that this way somewhere? Let's do this from the. Let's land, and do this from the map view, or possibly the navsat view, because it's going to be so much easier. Oh, I've just gone straight over the top of it. <laughs> Fail. Okay, well, there's one. I'm also going to want to go um, a little bit further over this way and then run up straight between these two. Like that. I seem to put in a piece I didn't mean to there, but never mind. Uh, might as well go up and get this one. Ah! There we go. That's tied that area up a little bit. Um, so that's an extra four once I link into those. Then down here... Where's my... Let's get the blueprint back out again. That one. Can run this along here to about... That's probably good enough. Uh, there's one way over there. That's miles away. There's one down here. These... these They're all they're all annoying, an annoying distance away. Are you a... No, you're not a proper station. Um... This is just a very, very long way round. Um, I don't really want to build out enormous quantities of rail if I can help it, because it's just a slow and faffy process. Let's put that across there. I do kind of want... To, I was going to say I want to link this piece of rail down here with this way up here, but I don't think there's any, actually any point in doing that. So let's not. Uh, give me my me. There we go. Oh, I don't have any cliff explosives. Ah. Oh. I hope we're making some on this planet. Let's go and find out. Ooh, suddenly a bot flurry. Why are you bot flurry? What? No, 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 just stop it. Bad bots. Stop building everything. You can't build any of this stuff. You're just going to get stuck. Right. Let's go and see if this planet has any cliff explosives. I'm f <laughs> it has had cliff explosives in the past. Whether it's got any left now, I'm, I'm not sure. But if I swoop down over here... I can look in all of these boxes and go, well, there's some speed modules. Uh, cliff explosives. In useful quantities. Yes, there's 900 of them here. You know what, I'm just going to request them. Um, because I've no idea where those are going to be. They'll just be hidden somewhere around the base. So I'd like um, 300 of those, please. Where are they coming from? Oh, just up there. Okay. Oh, I've got a machine making them. Even better. <laughs> yes. Oh, I also need core mining drills. That's the other thing I need. Core miners. There they are. I need about five of them. Because if there's none of these on this planet, then there's no point in, it, in any of what I'm doing. Ah, my bots are back. Excellent. And that's my core miners. It's one of my core miners. Two. That looks like more than one. Three, four. Is there one more coming? No, that's all of them. Okay, so we can go out and put in another four core mines. Oh yeah, I always forget. There's that. There's that keyboard shortcut for um, for seeing what's in your logistics network. Thank you. I'll, I'll I shall try and remember that. I won't remember it, but I shall try to. Fly my convenient monkeys. There we go. Oh, signals. Then yes, over here we're going to need a little bit of a shenaniganry because we don't want to go. We don't actually want to go straight through the middle of that uh, core seam because that would be bad. Um, so instead, we'll try and go round it. Like, in fact, well, let's put the mine on it first, and then we'll go down underneath it. That, that, and that. Pull up all of this. And 
this. Robots on. Ah! That was not what I meant to do. Um, where's the game gone? One moment, please. You're still in game. <laughs> There we go. Found the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. I'm not quite sure what I pressed, but it moved the it moved the game down uh, down one um, da uh, onto onto on, onto a different um, virtual desktop. Um, and now my I am still having technical difficulties. I can't deselect the de deconstruction planner. What? Do you need to relog? I don't. I don't know. My, I can't. I, the mouse control is working. Is working absolutely normally, but I can't. But pressing Q doesn't. With the Q, basically the Q button on my keyboard seems to be broken. <laughs> w A S D is still working. J works. I can. I can jetpack on and off, but my. Q, but Q has just stopped. I can't un. So I can't un. Swap what I've got in my hand. That's really frustrating. It's really weird. Oh, actually, no. I think no. I think something's. I've got. I, I've got a modifier key that thinks it's pressed. Um, there we go. Okay, normal service can now be resumed. Ah <laughs> uh, dear. Uh, and my bots are being stupid. Come here. Oh, fine. I'll just. Let them fly to me. It's probably going to be easier. And I need I need a load of signals because I'm not going to set up set all this area up without without having any signals um, because that is the that is a way to just cause problems and um, confusion and sadness. Okay, I've expanded Corbett solar power by two gigawatts, and that's only okay. just enough. Are you being a bit greedy with your power requirements? I mean a bit, <laughs> and I say that with a, a certain element of um, irony in there, because given that I'm about to put down a load more core mining drills, and that's going to massively boost my power requirements as well. Um, but you know that's okay. There are signals being brought from all possible directions. This is ridiculous. When when the variance in power draw is you know plus or minus a gigawatt from the average point, that's insane. No, it's just. That's fairly standard. That's uh, just machines cutting in and out. That's that's pretty yeah, normal, yeah, but, I'd say. But gigawatts of movement. Yeah, that's just a chunk of factory. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in Norvis, we are fluctuating by 10 gigawatts, basically. That's, that's insane. <laughs> this is like in the, in the minute range. In the hour range, we are fluctuating up. Uh, Basically between 20, 18, 19, and 50. <laughs> I was looking at the five second range, and the production was genuinely changing. Da, 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 On the five um, second, whereas, to have it jumping that much on the five second range is quite a lot, I will admit that. Yeah. Um, whereas, like, looking at the same five second range in orbit, it's pretty much invariably in the 29 range, although occasionally it dips down to the 28. I've had it over on well, here on over here on Talos. It has dropped from uh, four point one gigawatts to a uh, half a gigawatt because we ran out of sulfur. <laughs> that's 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 grim. Um, how much power do the? So according to the the thing here, it's, it this thinks is that the main yes, isn't it? <laughs> main culprit is advanced chemical plants, but they only use. Oh, they're using 140 megawatts. When you beacon them really, really hard, they probably use quite a lot of power. Yeah. 140 megawatts each. Right, let's have that. Um, That's not but I don't need that station in the quantity. middle, but I can get rid of that in a moment. So I'll put you in over here. This. I imagine I could probably link that to there. Yep, there we go. And then that to there. And then, yeah, um, no, yes, that mode, there we go. Station, uh, signal, signal, 
No station there. Don't need that one either. Don't have any red belts. Ugh. Don't have any use. Oh, I'm gonna have to this. So many things I don't have. Although the, the good news is, once I put down the first one of these and I've got everything I need for it, it'll be a lot easier to do the next one because I'll, you know, already have everything in my inventory for a second one. Yeah, so really good. Back over now. 900. And has been for. And red belts are the one, easy ones because the red belts are just iron and iron and iron in various various ways. So I tend to have loads of those available everywhere. And even if I don't, it's easy enough to claim some more. Like, let's actually do some beryllium in here. Let's put that somewhere more sensible. Um, I could do with some red loaders as well. Um, I has not bring up, brought up uh, my my logistics network. Uh, is it L? Yes, there it goes. L, not I. Oh, you said you said L, lowercase L, and I read I because um, yeah. Capitalization issues. No, that's not the button. That one. Uh, so I would like some red loaders, please. Red loader, yellow loader, red loader, yellow loader. Let's have a hundred of them. Um, and actually, let's have lots and lots of red belts because I think that some of that more of them would be useful. What do you mean none available? We just looked at the uh, logistics network and oh, this is, no, this is Talos. Where are those fast loaders then? Take those. There we go. Oh, my inventory's full. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's get rid of some of the um, some of this trash into the uh, that can be taken away by the train. So this can all go into here. I don't want any of that or that or that 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 that. Sulfur can go in here. Actually, that that's that that's useful. Uh, to go there. I don't know why I have a fish. We'll carry. We'll hang on to that because I don't know what else to do with it. I seem to have a spidertron for some reason. Um, but into later. Do? Possibly. I thought somebody else did the Spider-Tron one. It was, uh, yeah, it, I, I did, did, but I also gave you all the winnings. Okay, that'll be why then. Very kind of you. Oh, uh, you know. I already regret it, don't worry. <laughs> right, so now I can put down all the rest of this stuff. Like that, and boom, just like that, a station was born. Um, are you named properly? Yes, you are. Core pickup, excellent. And there's only two core pickup trains. That's um, not very many. Interesting. Uh, we're not going to be able to get any um, trains in here, of course, because we need a turny roundy point in this. Uh, so I've put in here. Go. I would like to have a, a turny roundy point from there to there, please. And I'll put a signal in this one just be, just to be good. There we go. Um, No, I don't think we've had any problems with power transfer through space elevators. There doesn't seem there doesn't seem to be any limit to it. It's happy to just pump through as much as we want. Um, as long as so we have cable, yes. Yeah, as long yeah, it's, 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 yes. The, the 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 elevator can collapse, but but there's no limit to the amount of power you can shove through it. I don't think. At least if there is, we don't seem to have discovered it. Right, load a rail along there, and then from the blueprints, I need the junctions one. I want a, a full jump. A full junction to go there. I also don't want any of that. That's nonsense. Stop that. And I do want this to be extended to there and to there. Okay, there a little bit of a bot. A little bit of a. I was going to say a bot frenzy. It's not a bot frenzy. It's, they're, they're, they're my personal bots. I haven't got enough of them for it to be a proper bot frenzy. But we'll get a load of um, uh, rail put down along here. I'm going to head up this way. And I. I'm hoping all this rail is. Here. Oh yes, yes. There's another two, um, another two core mines at the top of this, at the top of this uh, spur. So I can stick the, both of those in, and then have them both feed the same station. There's no need to have a separate station for each one. Uh, no, we are not using LTN for this uh, this playthrough. We we decided it'd be fun to challenge ourselves by uh, uh, by not using LTN. Just just to make things a little bit more difficult for us. Uh, yes, yeah, fun. Uh, in the same way that sharing your bath with an electric fan heater is fun. I wonder what you're going to be sharing your bath with then. Um, yeah. But yes, it's it, 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 we, we, we're all sort of very, we've all used LTN plenty of times, so we thought it'd be, uh, it'd make a nice change to do something a little bit different for this run. And so we've, uh, yeah, we've been coming up with uh, train systems that don't use LTN to, uh, for, the, for the sake of variety and, um, and curiosity. Uh, I was going to say, an LTN makes it all far too easy. <laughs> I think it's it's gone pretty well. The only bit we've really missed in LTN, I think, is is prioritization of stations. That's the hardest part, hardest thing to to uh, implement without it. 
other than, other than that, it's all yeah, it's all gone pretty well, I'd say. Admittedly, I, I might be saying that because Tristan's done most of the trains, but uh, yeah, it's been fine. There you go, it's been fine. Yeah, could you? And designing trains is interesting, so yeah, so exactly, you you don't want to you don't want to automate all the fun out of the game, as the yeah, saying goes. It's op I think it's opt actually the saying the actual saying was optimize the players will optimize all the fun out of the game, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, I mean that that is kind of the definition of of meta. You you get to the point where unless you play the meta, it's just not good enough, and that can get really dull and samey. Mm. You know, why would you do this really kooky layout when the default boss is exactly how you should do it, and there's no other acceptable, and so on? Yeah, exactly. Um, it's it's a bit more interesting. If if the, it, yeah, one of the nicest things about Factorio is then I'm okay. We might not be doing things the most efficient way a lot of the time, but we are doing it at a, a way that works and is and is potentially interesting. Um, and even if it's not the most efficient, we it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Because the game, well, with it not being a competitive game as well, uh, there's no such thing as sort of a. You don't have the problem where, well, if everyone else is playing it in a certain specific way, you have to as well, or you're you're not competitive. So, which is quite nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can build whatever nonsense we want. Yep. And with the three and of we us, do. we've got. So with the four of us, we've got three and a, what three and a half different styles. Let's call it that. Lawrence and Tristan have kind of. Not quite the same, but very similar styles. Mark and I have got different styles to, to those two. Uh, yeah, we we definitely do do have different styles. Uh, exactly how many you'd, you want to define it as, uh, we we could we could argue and debate that for quite a long time, I suspect. But uh, yes, we, that's one that's one of the styles. <laughs> what arguing and debating? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and there's making it work and, and and balancing it. That's the other two um, styles. <laughs> Well, only yeah, one of us. Only one of us. Well, I was, was going to say, I, I'm not the one of us who works in management, so I think I think the the debating, arguing about it isn't. It would be would be uh, somebody else's, and the actually and the getting on with it would certainly not be yours. <laughs> touche, touche. Yeah, his is a knocking off early. <laughs> that's Pete. Yeah. Big Pete didn't even turn up. <laughs> that's true. I'll oh, bother. Bother. I've run out of red set, red, red belts. What else have I got? I've got some blue belts. We'll use a few of those. Uh... Well, the good news is it's hydrogen that's starting to run low again on Kothar, but it's doing so with quite a significant backlog of nitric acid building up. So I think it's just filling buffers at the moment. Okay. Huh, you can use space belts on the ground. I, I wasn't sure whether you could or not. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit gross. But I've, had, it, you know. I've had a ghost one placed on Njord for ages now. Uh -huh. Just uh, as a Yes, there clearly is a gap over on the left one because there's nothing coming through. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, and there's no power. Why is there no power? Oh, I probably didn't join it in on the, um, on the join at the bottom. There we go. Do I have radars with me? Yes, I do. Let's put one of these down. In fact, let's put this over in the middle, because I think, you see, these are quite big radars. It'll probably get both of them from the centre. Uh, not that we really need radars too too much, because we've got the uh, we've got the navsat, but, you know, it's nice It's nice to be able to see what's going on sometimes. Join you onto... There. Join. Yeah. Oh, and signals. I mean, it's not so vital up here, because it's in the middle of nowhere, but, you know, I'll probably expand at some point, and then we'll have to start to have problems. Right, so over here, over here, this is all. Yeah, that looks like it's all hooked up. It's just just having power problems. So if I now come down here, yes, colourful indeed. How many have we completed? How many times have we completed K two SE? Uh, never. Um, three of us have completed uh, space exploration 0.5. None of us have ever played K two before, I don't think. And I don't believe any of us have. And certainly none of us have played K two SE. And I don't, and none of us have played um, Space Exploration 0.6. So it's all fairly new, fairly new in 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 a way for that sort of thing. Um, but we've all played quite a lot of Factorio in varying amounts, depending on who on which of us we're talking about. But we have played quite a lot of Factorio um, each and between us. So uh, yeah. Just getting calls back uh, in my mind. Callbacks to the um, season one intro video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Mike is mostly here to get in the way. Yep. And he's proud of it. Yep. 
Oh, you know, the talent's got to come from somewhere. Did you say talons? Well, the ent entertainment, rather, I should say, has got to come from somewhere. Ooh, let's get some more of these red belts. Now if I can. There we go. That's uh, <laughs> some, anyway. Uh... Yeah, I do think maybe someday I should have a look at Project Cybersyn. Um, although it's um, it's probably less less less. It's not going to be needed for her much longer for the same reason that, reason that um, LTN isn't going to be needed for all that much longer. Why is there so much stone here? Let's get rid of that. Um, yeah, because it's just going to be uh, it's essentially made absolutely unnecessary by um, but by when version two comes out. Jump uh, jump over the rocks. There we go. Can I see the? Can I see the warehouse? Yes, there it is. All of that in there, and then it was yes that one. Goes in there. Just transfer all this stone over there and put it in the tray and get rid of it. And same with the sand. There we go. Um, there was a brilliant more over there. There might have been. I can get rid of the um, the iron ore as well. I don't know if I can. Put, I could probably put coal in the recycling system. Yeah, I'm sure I can put coal. I can definitely put coal in the recycling system. Um. I would hope so. Yeah, because I'm about to. <laughs> is that any? Core. It comes out. It comes core out of core mining, core processing. So it must be. It must be possible. Why are yeah. all these bots chasing me? Where are all these bots going? Have I got a? Oh, uh, what? Is is this? Is there somewhere that's requesting stone on this planet? Why are there bots transport, transporting stone around? Yeah, clearly this is. Oh, it's requesting three thousand. Why are you requesting three thousand stone? Stop that. Oh, no, it's always going to put in the LHS. That was done. Right, that's, that's kind of tidied up now. Um, what was I doing? Probably There probably are some... There's probably a few random bits and pieces of crap around here. I'm not, I'm not sure how worth t tidying it up it really is. Uh, the, the big question now is, how is where is the uh, Talos ship? Uh, and why is it not shown up back over here yet with a with a huge quantity of uh, of um, um, and why is it not shown up here with a huge quantity of sulfur for us to carry on processing? It has turned up with a huge quantity of sulfur. Why is the train not gone up? The train is supposed to go up when as soon as there's a load any available up there. So something has not worked down here properly. This train has not been triggered. It's probably because oh I've I've, I've fixed this system down here a couple of times and probably in unsuccessfully. So <laughs> we've got. Yellow, which is the amount of sulfur that we want to be down here. So we're feeding a yellow signal through to here, and that is seems to be working. Somehow. Yes. We're also receiving a sulfur signal from somewhere, which we should be, presumably here. Coming out here, that's only minus 19,000. So you're supposed to depart, if that's... What are we feeding into this thing? So we've got minus okay, so minus nineteen thousand there. And um, we've got oh, it's because I disconnected this because it was feeding it into a it was feeding it into a transmitter system and breaking things at the other end. But I obviously disconnected it in the wrong place. No, we've got an isolator there. It shouldn't have been. Oh, except that's not going through the isolator. Oh, this is all weird and broken and horrible. Um, right, so let's let's see if I can let's see if I can sort this. Ah, let's see if I can put my hand on the right place on the keyboard so I press the right buttons. Uh, so down here we need to have another one of these um, about f feeding stuff into the station. It's feed no. Yeah, for feeding into the station from the rest of the network. So we put that there. And say you're going to be pass just passing everything. This is just going to pass everything straight through. So for each output, each input count. No, that's not right. Wrong sort of combinator. That should be an arithmetic combinator, which I don't have. Typical. Uh, which hopefully I have on on this planet. So I'll put an arithmetic combinator there. Let's see if that turns up. Um, Nope, it's not going to turn up. All right, I can't do anything about it. Uh, clear off. I'll have to rethink how this system works. Um, so what I want is I want the, the I want the I want the sulfur signal to pass into here as well. But if I link that across there, 
No, actually, that should be okay. What have we got on here? We've got 19,000 sulfur. Yeah, if I link that into... Th what if I link that into there? Does it then break everything? Yes. Yes, that's very, very broken. Stop that. Um... So the theory is the way this the way this system worked previously before I broke it because it was breaking something else is that we've got the signal of the amount of sulfur how does that Yeah the amount of sulfur down here on the ground is being fed in along this red cable fine the amount of sulfur in in the signal which includes what's up in space is being fed in down to this receiver and then along this red cable and into here where it's being converted to a yellow and then passed over to here so we can look so we can see both how much sulfur there is down here which at the moment is minus 25000 and how much is in space which includes the signal being sent up from here so we can test if it's empty and if there's some up in space except we can't because we can't get hang on that should work shouldn't it yeah, why is that not working? Um, no, when I, when I tried to place one, there was it was showing that there was a there was a lack of um, a lack of arithmetic combinator in in, the, in this menu here. So I don't I don't have any on this planet. Okay, when the train comes back down again, we'll have another look at the uh, the signals that are coming into it and see what it see what it says. Although we are then going to have a lot of sulfur, of course, because it's um, all being loaded in here. That's quite an impressive mess, stripy mess of different things that are coming out. Oh, it's because I'm using lots of different loaders along here to un to unload the train. That's why there's a stripy, stripy mess coming out. Fair enough. Um, but that is a load of stuff. It'll be fed up into, into here, going to the ship. We've got up to 20% eh, full almost now already, which is pretty good. And now we can load up, yeah, we can load up the train with large quantities of sulfur, even larger quantities of vulcanite. This is going to take forever to go through. Um, okay, well, never mind. While that's running, let's have another look at the to-do list, because I think leaving that is going to take a while. Um, yeah, I probably could make another combinator, but I've, I've confused myself in circles enough now that I don't really want to start m moving cables around until I've worked out, until I'm sure I know what's going on, because um, I'll probably break things again. <laughs> I still haven't looked at the inner site. I think the inner site is... A, I think the, I got the inner site to a state where I expect it to be okay, but that's why it's on the list as a monitor the inner site, not, oh no, the inner site is still broken. Um... Andragon has brought out a huge amount of junk, but that's fine. That's what it does. Over here, right, we've got a load of trash coming out here, but we seem to, yeah, we seem to have plenty of immersite over here. So this, it looks like the immersite problems are sorted for the time being. There is a, tar a ship parked outside Taras, and there is a ship in Taras orbit that is kind of filling up, but not very much. Um... Why is an empty train come up? Must be on a timer. Why is it? What? Uh, I hate debugging other people's systems. Especially when they're mics. Would you like me to have a look at it? It's, well, it's not doing any... It, it, it's working, sort of. It's just that the trains are going... At, the, the trains are going constantly because they, they wait on tara, down on Taras until they've had a second of ina inactivity and then they come straight back up again. So at the moment, because Taras has gone to sleep because we don't need <coughs> anything... We don't need any Immersite, uh, the trains are just running constantly. And that's that's out. So, okay, it's Taras, is it? Let's have a look at Taras, yeah. Uh, it's probably educated guess because at the time of installation there was a concern about getting stuck on the ground because an input yeah oh yeah i'm familiar with i'm familiar with the reasoning why it's just bad <laughs> and we, it needs it essentially needs a signal to be sent down to say hey it's time to go why has um, it got two one second of inactivities yeah i noticed that one there's also two trains as well by the way to make it that little bit more complicated uh, not more complicated but whatever you when you fix it you need to fix it a second one, time as well one of them that's weird because it should never have just have an inactivity as a condition. It should have a that or cargo full. Yeah, but I guess if the cargo fills up, then it's going to be inactive. So, so, so when you set it up, you probably just thought, meh. Yeah, 
But why then two inactivities on one and one on the other? That feels like uh, something's been tinkered with. Maybe. Last user. Oh, it takes forever oh. to fill up. That's not necessarily going to be representative. No. Last user was Mark, just saying. <laughs> right, okay, there's, there's a starting point, so that'll now wait for a moment. Oh, yes, you're right, regular. I did. Good point. Uh, could um, you ping the train? Oh, right, it's, it's me now because I've just updated it to um, have a 120 seconds of inactivity. Whilst well, I have a think about it. So, I mean, in fairness, there's also nothing being put into it. That's probably why it failed. Yes, so there's nothing wrong with the train. It's Hang because on, I changed the they... numbers it's looking at. Probably. How's. Oh, no, okay, it's just anti aliasing. That's, that's going in there. Uh. That second one is ooh, it has nose up close. Right, okay, so I mean there's nothing going into it, so it's kind of a a moot point. Yeah, so it should wait until either um it, it should wait either until it's full or until there is rare metal up in orbit but not on the ground. That's what I've done over that's what I've done with the sulfur train over in um uh or the, yeah. the train over on Talos. Um Do you have those signals going excuse <clears throat> me going on as well? Maybe. Yes, correct, Luren. Uh, uh, Luren, this, this is indeed without L without LTN, which makes things um, very, very different. Yes, different is a, is a word. Ooh, speaking of uh, thinking of, um, of of of, well, I don't know what I'm thinking of particularly, but it's time to do another uh, paste onto the uh, spaceship over here because it's probably been yes, it's probably been finished. Oh, in fact, it has. It's not quite. Actually, it's not quite been finished. Um, because I, I haven't got all of the flooring, so there we go. That that will now actually get finished. But more importantly, I need to nip over to Kalidus orbit, and I need to adjust one of these beams. And I need to do it without breaking um, anyone else's ships this time. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, Naquim ships still need is silly. What silly is pointing at a ship. Um, Explorer is pointing at the Explorer ship, as you'd expect. Combat is presumably pointing at the combat ship. What's which ship is Silly pointing at? Because that'd be a good one to nick if I can, but I think it's I think it's in use. Um, uh, Silly was the um, uh, oh, sorry. team production. Yeah, but at the moment it's firing at the Deep Space Exploration. Um, but that oh. isn't what Deep Space Exploration looked like, I don't think. Ex Explorer, here we go. Um, no, Explorer is firing at the combat ship. And combat is firing at the combat ship. Right, okay. okay so I've, I'll, I've I shall fix the, these a little bit. I've given the Taras trains a, 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 a very sort of simple... Hang on, is, is there three of them? I thought there was two, but I could, there might be three. No, it's only, it's only two. They just happen to be nose to tail in a way that makes it look like it's three. Oh, okay. um, because there's nothing coming up from the ground, it's kind of difficult to sort of sit there and go, okay, what other logic is that? And I, I know what you're saying about if there's rare metal in space but not on the ground... Yeah, that, I the, say that's what I've done with Talos, and that, that's it was yeah. working. Oh yeah, yeah, and it 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 will. Um, the idea of using the inactivity trigger is that it will still just keep moving if there's some weird signal deadlock. Mm. So you know the thing will still get stirred every two minutes. Why um, would be? But yeah, we don't, I don't know. That's 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 the point. It's it's, it's waving off a risk. Going, oh, the risk is that there is some weird signal deadlock. That we can't think of. Yeah, but we don't. But it, it depends how how much we care about the trains running round and round in circles constantly. I suppose. Yeah. It's a waste of cable and it's a waste of batteries. Yeah. And the basically. the issue there is you're going to run out of batteries potentially. Oh, that's true. And yeah, they're, yeah, they're brought out on resupply. Not if the ship Except is flying. Except they're not because yeah, if the, ship, if the, if the ship's the not flying, aren't taking yeah, anything. True. The ships aren't flying. True. Hmm. Yeah. So it's it's a lot slower now, but. Uh, right, so that means there needs to be a signal transmitter in orbit. No, sent down the elevator. True. Oh yeah, that's even better. That's not what I've been doing here. I've been using the. There were already were transmitters and receivers on the ground and in orbit, yeah. so I just used um, them. But yeah, I forgot you could send signals through an elevator. <laughs> that is better. I like oh, that more. There's a already a red cable connected to the post, but it's just put ticks on it. So as long as I. I'm careful about how it's added in. Yeah, it's viable. All right, so now we are making... Um, 
Now, now we're making sulfuric acid again. This system. Ooh, that was a sudden drop in in uh, frames. Uh, now, now we're making uh, sulfuric acid again. These systems have started running. They're probably going to be that bit more uh, productive now because we've got all of the extra uh, productivity modules throughout uh, throughout throughout here, throughout this one rather. Uh, so this is now running nicely, and that it'll be interesting to see. I'll give it a moment or, or few to actually get up to speed, and then have a look to see how much of a difference it's made to the production rate. I don't know whether it's going to be particularly visible. Uh, I know you can't put the thing plumbed in because the warehouse which detects um, oh, the, the, this warehouse here has got the negative 60k rare metal signal on it for transmitting yes. back to Let's use the other colour which then interferes with all of the logic about what does and doesn't get put into and out of the... The way I've done it is I've, I've, I've worked out what those numbers will be when when it's empty. So I'm looking for two different... You, I, you need to look for two different signals to know when there's none on the ground and there's some up in space. What um, I've done is measure the belts that are feeding the train. If there's nothing on those, there's no point yeah, in the train up. It's then just yeah. connecting That's the true. wire... But with yeah, mine, yes, I, I did have to. I did have to convert one of the sulfur counts to be a yellow count instead of a sulfur count. So yeah, you do have to do things slightly differently. Yeah, which I is, is fine. My elevator at the opposite end of the ship to the station. Yeah, well, you know, good for you. Six hundred degrees. That's not enough. <laughs> uh, can I get from there? So this is working. Uh, production graph. Very. Brilliant ingots, that one. So, um, okay, so when it was running previously, we were producing in the region of 400 per minute, uh, somewhere between 380 and 220, uh, 420. Uh, now we're going at about 600 per minute, but I think that's because that's probably going to be because there's quite a lot of backlog on a lot of these uh, on a lot of these belts, so it's not entirely not 100 fair. Now I want you to have an input priority from the left. There we go. Should use less of this one now. Uh, although we do seem to be running it in here at a full. Oh no, we're still short of sulfur. Sulfuric acid is still not coming through fast enough. <sighs> got two machines making it down here. The pipe is not remotely full. They've got full. They've, they've got some productivity modules in them, although they're not very good. I could put in a beacon. I wonder if you're actually still in use. Probably. So I don't, I don't pull it out. Um. I need I need more more sulfuric acid production over here. I'm just not sure how to spaghetti it in. Let's go over there and have a look. See what I can do. Um, the, the, no, the train unloading the beryllium ore is, is is fine for speed. The problem is that it's it it's not doesn't have enough capacity, so it runs out of beryllium ore quite quickly. Um, that's why it's that's why it struggles a bit. Uh, And yes, that is somewhat problematic. But okay, Were we going to go off anywhere, by the way? Not as a group, I don't think. No, that's fine, that's fine. Um, because I don't think there's any point in us going in. I don't think there's anywhere for us to go as a group that, where there's any, any point in at the moment. No, that's fine. Um... It's the easy way. Uh, make some underground belts, please. There we go. Yeah, so we do want to. We do want to send people off to do um, to look in some pyramids. Um, but we don't want to. Uh, but we don't. But there's no need for us to go together for that. I think. We will also want to uh, go to uh, Crosum and Arundel, uh, which are have a flag on them. That is different to the pyramid. Okay. Uh, I am very specifically not viewing the surface. Right. Yes. That's, a thing, uh, that's probably a thing that we should. Um, yeah. Would be would be relevant to us all seeing at once, perhaps. What do you mean missing fast underground bells? I've made. Oh no! I haven't made a load of them yet. <laughs> okay. I don't think either of them require multiple people, but. But multiple people might be interested. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All 
Alright, that should roughly double the amount of sulfuric acid we're making. I'm not sure if it's going to be actually doubling because I've done some funny business with, uh, with with module upgrades in there as well. But at least that should 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 at least be more. Um, and given that we were, we seem to be have we seem to mostly have about enough sulfuric acid in general, I'm hope, hopefully this will be this will this will now be sufficient. So um, I guess we, I guess we'll see as as, as the uh, systems kick in and get running through. Uh, no, I don't care about the cup belt. That was just for um, if you mean uh, I've, I've lost it. Even. This this one. No, that was just carrying um, the delivery cannon capsules, and we're not using delivery cannons anymore. I, to be honest, I should probably rip up all of this belt, but then I'd have to decide what to do with all the delivery cannon capsules, and I I I, I, I haven't worked that one out. Send yet. them back to Novus. But why? Mm, they'll get voided. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Meh. I'll just leave them here. Yeah, a lot of this could be ripped up, but I don't. I don't want to go around just randomly ripping bits and pieces of it up because I'm fairly sure there's some some bits of this are still doing things, and I, it'd be very very easy to accidentally pull out a bit that is still do is it, uh, is still needed. And you'll rip out the uh, power connections and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and that as well. Discovering on Nord. Oh yes, it's got red wire on the sulfur belt. You're right. Uh, I don't. Again, don't think it matters, but I might as well try and tidy it up. Right, so that is, as I said, now a bit more sulfuric acid production. How is the, how is it, where, where does the pipe, pipe goes up here? Um, it's, I feel like it, it, it's still struggling, but it's not struggling quite as badly as it was before, so it's probably alright, and if we leave it running, it will eventually, it, it will probably catch up. But let's put another machine in, just because I've, I've got the bits for this, so I might as well. At least I, I thought, I, 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 actually I don't know if I have got the bits for this, we'll find out. There we go. Uh, and you can have some front threes as well. Right, so that is going to be... Uh, no, it's in the wrong place. That's supposed to be there, and that was supposed to be there. Um, and then we need power there as well. Uh, that's why I, that's why a bot flew over with a pipe and then flew off again, because I put that in. I could put a beacon in. Do I have beacons? I do have beacons. Um, of both wide and wide too. Yeah, and I could put a beacon in here somewhere. Um, what's all this? Nothing. This entire planet needs a good tidy up. Uh, do I? And I have speed. I have speed modules for it as well. So yeah, all right. Let's let, let's stick in a beacon here where it can get all of the um, where it can get some of the. There we go. That's nearly nearly all of them, and then give you all of you give you some speed modules. Now everything around here will start to run crazily quickly. We'll get any, we'll get loads and loads of red belts very fast, and actually we're still okay on the power consumption as well. So that seems to be fine. Probably because we haven't got any naquium available or something like that. Um, notably, okay, you know, we've ripped through a train's worth of sulphur. They'll, it'll bring some more down next time it comes, so that's uh, that's okay. As long as we can produce enough beryllium to fill the train up, and the train's yeah, less than half full. Hmm. Uh, it'll probably be alright. Now up here, we can see that, yeah, we've got a full, the green belt is flowing quite, quite nicely along here. We've got a bit too much, um, we're not... We can't quite deal with all of the beryllium that's coming. Actually, well, that's not true. We we can deal with the, um, the the beryllium core chunks as fast as they're coming in. They're being taken taken. They're all getting used up. It's just that some of these machines have got a bit of a backlog built up in them. So that's that's probably okay. Down here, we're essentially keeping both these machines happy. So that's that's nice. Um, the mines are struggling, but then the mines are oh, what's happened here? Oh, I didn't signal things properly. Um, where are you trying to go? Are oh, you trying to go that way? Uh, and that's yeah okay yeah I need to go up there and fix those signals. Uh, let's 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 actually do this properly. So there's a, there's a crossroads here. So this means I should put a chain signal on the on the entrance to it like that, and the other entrance to it like that. Um, and then up here we'll need various of these signals like that, and I'll put one there as well. And this, yeah. Okay, that, that's that's fine now. It's cured the problem. So, presumably over here, these core mines are now f filled up their stations. Yes, sufficiently. So we can now have a green... Yes, there's a... I can't tell if the station's gone green or not. No, it's still purple. What are you waiting for? 2,000 and you've got 3,500. Naval train limit, train limit. Okay, it is, oh, it is naval, but there's a train going there. Right, okay, that's fine. And then presumably up here we've got the same sort of thing. Yeah, this one's gone. This one's asking for a train, but the trains haven't been able to get up there. 
Um, no, I have not tried remote moving trains. Uh, let, all right, let, let's give that a try. So if you select a train like this, uh, put it into manual mode so it won't do anything itself. And uh, what was it? What was it saying? Oh, no, move, pressing the arrow keys just moves the camera um, around. Is oh, the Star Pro data collection thing supposed to be automated? I believe so. I think that's a mark question. Uh, mm. No, there's, there seems to be no such no. thing as um, automated train, uh, manual train. Interstellar travel is mine. <clears throat> Star Pro is another one. Oh, Star, oh, Star Pro. Um, oh, press enter. I think that's Lawrence one looking at some of the looking at the, the yeah. stuff around it. So, which one's Star Pro? I've um, just pinged it there. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so the ship has got a destination set of Norbit. Yeah, um, it was it was one of the it, it sort of it was set up to be automated, but never actually quite finished because it ha it was full of stuff. So it, it so yeah, it's probably it's probably it's yeah, probably supposed to be, but not working. Uh, rockets. Sorry. One hundred and eighty rockets in there. What? One hundred eighty space probe rockets and twenty eight star probes. What's uh, happened there? Um, well, there's only got 23 according to the green cable, I presume that's because you've got a negative somewhere. That logistics request chest has stuff in it, but no requests. Oh no, you hate in fairness, if that's set, yeah, set requests from here, ties it by minus one, which comes from there, which, yeah, okay, fine. Um, a bunch of them. Is that... It's not going to be enough. But... Well... Actually, I'm just sure that this was set on enable disable rather than set filters, which is that's probably why. Then um, is one of you is one of you looking at this and fixing it, or am I? Am I? I, I, I we, we can't we can't all because... try and work on this at the same time because we'll get in each other's way. Well, I'm, I'm just trying to understand it first of all. Right. I mean, okay. if, someone else wants, if someone else wants to fix it, that's absolutely fine by me. Um, okay. I've looked at the science, and it's DSS four is missing from the. What they're called labs, as is energy four. DSS four is missing, as we know, because DSS three is basically blocking the belt. Fine, that's just a thing. That'll clear itself at a given time. Energy four, I trace it down, and star probe data is missing. It's the only thing right, okay. missing there. So I was like, oh, where does that come from? Trace the belt, got to the ship. Mm -hmm. I was like, going, strange, why is the ship not flown? Yeah. Looks no, I, 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 I understand the concept reason for the, the ship is not the yeah. ship is not flown. Um, I'm just trying to remember how this is all working. So we've, we've got. Ah, there is a constant combinator up here that is that is outputting a, a signal of thirty sun thirty four that's not connected to things, uh, so that should be connected down here, like that. And now we have uh, now we have the correct yeah, destination, destination set. set so um, launch, but why is it not launching? Is the next question. So we're wa watching for two ticks, and we're currently getting two ticks. Um, oh, and it's probably not. Ah, uh, the launch uh, combinator is disabled. Ah, right. Yes, because it was all very experimental at the time, and, and and it was still full of data or something like that. Or we didn't have a shortage of data. I hadn't hadn't activated the uh, combinator. So if I turn that one on, then so it should it'll go. launch, and it'll probably it, it might work. Although what's going to happen at the other end when it arrives with 142 um, probe rockets and 28 probe probes is anyone's guess. It actually what it'll probably do is unload. More than it should do, but then fly back when it's filled up. Hmm, it's going to be a bit weird. Would you like to ride on it and check? I don't. Don't need you to. There's no point necessarily need need to ride on it. You just need to notice when it. Someone needs to notice when it arrives at Kalida's yeah. orbit and try and make it make sense. Right, okay, I'll chase it. I'll pay attention then. Okay. Flip. Here we go. Yeah, so it's yes, it was. It's supposed to be automated, and the I think the Astro one is the one next to it. Um, the Astro but... one is also enabled. Sable. Oh, it's the setting requests on the chest that's not being done right. I can't remember. It's been so long since I did this that. <laughs> oh yes, yes. So we set the request on the chest to be. This to be five of the um, whatever it is we are, of, of each of the things we're asking for, but then we subtract whatever's in the warehouse. That seems to be how it works. Um, but there was there was stuff six. in the chest, so it obviously wasn't working. Yeah. I'm wondering if it lost power. No, because if it lost power with the request there, that wouldn't matter. Hmm. Because the request would never be 
an excessive number. Yeah, I'm a bit puzzled. Um, at least partly because I thought I built these two essentially the same, and obviously, obviously it's not because one of them's broken. But yeah. Looking side to side, they look basically the same. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. Um. Mm. No, I still can't. No, you still can't enter a train from the navsat mode. That's not. That is not a thing, as far as I can tell. Pressing enter does not do anything. Actually, let's try it with the train selected. No, then it, it, it no, still it still uses it still uses the arrow keys to move the camera around. So no, not that. Yeah, it's because it, the train is not a um, or the navsat is not an entity. Oh yeah, I mean I, I didn't expect it to work, but I was being asked to test it because somebody claims it works for them. Fair enough. I thought I'd give it a shot. I mean, in fairness, I've seen some some weird stuff happening with Factorio. Yeah, I mean, I'd... you go, that shouldn't work, and it has, and you're there going, ha. Huh. <laughs> yeah, pe people can do strange things with mods. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, we still get. We're able to get through an entire green belt of um, a beryllium ore in a single one of these machines, by the looks of it, um, because just because we've got so much speed module going on up here, <laughs> that's why this is running quite so flat out. Uh, okay, fine. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with a lot, with lots and lots of spare coming out of there. Um, I do clearly need more uh, more of these trains. I don't think I don't, I don't know if I've got any of those. Let's have a look. Can I put in some more more trains? Can't see anything on there. Let's do this instead. Uh, loco. Yeah, I've got four locomotives and eight cargo wagons. Excellent. I can put in another. Four trains, and then that'll jam the system up up here, and I'll need to have a longer. Um, I, I can, yeah. Right, time to go up here. Uh, I'm already up here. Time to go over here and extend this rail in order to get more, uh, more, more stacking space in here. So I'll punch it through here and through here. Don't need any of this anymore. We're not actually filtering anything. In fact, you know what? Get rid of all of that. Some of it's going to be in the way, and I don't know which bits yet. Then you come across here, and then go up and join on to here, like that. And then put in signal up here, the first possible point. Remove this rail. Like that. And now, well, I want to get these in as close together as possible. So that's that. Well, how long? My, my trains are three trains, so I want to. So that goes there. That's just room, isn't it? Yes. Three, another three is there. Another three is. Uh, oh, I can't put it in the right place, but that'll do. Right. So now I want to put in another train like this, and copy the settings from that one and paste them onto this one when it when it when it gets built. And I'm going to need to chuck some fuel in it as well, but that's fine. I can do that. Uh, are the bots coming? Am I in construction area? I have no idea. Yes, I am. Yeah. So the bot should come over and build this train. Bots turned off. That's why here they come. Those instructions. Oh, train went while I was trying to give it instructions. It's really annoying. It takes a oh, few... through the elevator. No, no, we're not even through the elevator. It just cleared off. Uh, no, the other, the other, the train I copied cleared off before I cop before I could copy it again because I'd faffed around and probably lost whatever it was I was copying. There's loads of red belts up here that I could claim whenever I, whenever when I need some more. Um. But yeah, so I can wait here for a moment. Actually, all you're all you're doing is going. Oh no, here, here, here come the trains. Right, the advanced, advanced science two data cards. The first or the the one that's backed up the most is is actually getting quite close to the um, the machines that produce them. Nice. <clears throat> I'm sitting here thinking that that's got to be quite a lot, as in a couple hundred on the belt, and given how expensive they are. I'm sitting there thinking maybe I ought to put a little see. thing clipped off. If it's nearly caught up, then we've got through the expensive bit, which is the difficult time. So it's probably all right. And the the only way they're expensive is they take arcosphere usage. 
That's the main uh, expense. And, uh, in fairness, I can't remember how expensive AI cores are. Which is the other bit. <laughs> Having fun, Mark. Are you muted, Mark? <laughs> I think Mark might be muted. So I'd say it sounds like it, but it was. Uh, yeah, doesn't uh, like sorry. It. Uh, Tristan, um, there is a train jam. So there is. Ooh. All over Blimey, the Blimey, that is a rather significant one. Why is that train not allowed to. Oh, right. Crikey, that is. Uh... Yes, just all of the. everywhere. Have you found. I may have fixed it with a single signal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Have you found the uh, the actual cause train, the train that's causing it? Yes, it happened to be basically almost the first the first one I actually checked its route for. I was trying to go around there. In a weird place. Yeah, it's here it's do it's doubling back. Oh, so I see, and then that's what, right. Okay, yeah, that that's, I, I see the signal you put in. There it is. Oh, yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> it's it's always amazing, isn't it? How you can have a bit of the base that's running for absolutely ages, and then suddenly a suddenly train jump. I think that we are in the very... electronic circuits. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I blame whoever is making electro electronic circuits. Because <laughs> that's what the train is for. Oh, I see. <laughs> right. Uh, electronic components, I think. Components, yeah. Oh, that's very different. I still don't know who's making them, but it's just sort of a very different thing. Have, have you looked, Tristan? Mark. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I think it's in a, a new Go town, on. so yes, it's going to be Mark. Yeah. Here comes the signal. <laughs> okay. Doink. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> train, 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 train. In ten minutes, that will one smile. That is a rather significant jam, though. That's actually quite impressive. That is a lot of jam. Messed up it is. There's also a huge bot frenzy going on down here. What's going? Is my, oh, Mark is, is, is car, carpeting the what, ethic of the planet again in, in stone. Right. It was on my to-do list. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the justification, so, right? So, yeah. ha, so how list. long until we until we spot until we discover we have a train a, a stop until we have discover we have a stone shortage? Because <laughs> that's usually what happens whenever a big carpeting thing goes on. No, no, the system is uh, automated here. To only uh, pull up. Uh... Yeah, I know. I just, I'm just still wondering how long it's going to be till we discover we have a stone yeah. shortage. <laughs> we have a lot of alerts now because of that. Yeah, we we, we had a lot of alerts, regardless. <laughs> Let's be honest. We've doubled, or if not tripled, more more alerts. than before. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, that that area down there, and that this 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 roundabout here is is basically the the is is the sort of the, the... single point of failure. Yeah, yeah. It's where too, so many many trains try and go through this area. It's uh, unfortunate. It always seems to be the way that there's really, really close to the origin. They will always end up being a massive train jam. You see, here's the, here's the origin here. Here's Norvis, the very, very starting point, and it's just up here. It's there's always because you you, your your train systems sort of grow out from the central point of your factory, and so unless you're very organised, which we're not, um, yeah, it it tends to be a sort of the central hub hub and nexus of your entire system. Why are there no? I feel like there should be some signals along this top bit here. To allow trains like this one to come in. Oh, oh well. Um, I think there's a there, no. I think the the jam up here is the uh, is, is is was caused by this jam down here. So as this one as this one clears out, <laughs> then we should then this should um, sort it out up here uh, eventually. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to pull a... them all through, but it will it should get there. It's a huge snarl up. That's that's got to be what twenty trains. Roughly, probably. Right. But, but it's, you say that it's now <laughs> yes. down to only about one, two, three, four, five, six. There's only about seven trains stopped on the main lines now. Now I expect some of these are trying to get out of their stations, um, mm. but bas but most of them it's actually cleared out reasonably quickly. Most of the trains have now have now gone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think perhaps yeah. having a few signals along the top of here. Yeah. That was terrible pinging. Uh, I clicked a lot more times than. Than that, so oh, 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 some of them got trained, got to the stations. That's yep. why. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. I was wondering if it was a game, mm. if it was something, if, if it was due to lag or something like that. But no, that's fine. Yep. Yeah. So it's yeah, I mean, it's clearing it. Out. Although there are now, of course, oh no, that one, that one went down rather. Than <laughs> that, so that's not too bad. I was going to say that there are now more trains coming out to join the queues, like this one. <laughs> so there's the, the the snarl is being added to. 
as well as removed from. But I'm yeah. I'm I'm quietly confident that it will uh, sort itself out sooner or later. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, I think we are at that sort of stage of the game. We've done almost everything there is to do in terms of new stuff. Um, all the science packs have been made from memory. Yep, we've now made all of the science packs. It's just trying to get them running at a at an appropriate speed yeah. for the system to keep working. Yeah, so I mean, at, at this point, if we sat back and did nothing, you would theoretically expect the game to complete in, in terms of research. Just queue up all the researches and just let it run. It should, in theory, complete. Yes, yes I know there'll be the occasional deadlock that happens. Something will break like that weirdly with, you know, it's run for however many dozens of hours with that issue. Yeah, um, and uh, yes, because all, all of the problems we've had with things like Iridium have all just been throughput problems rather than um, uh, rather than uh, rather yeah. than it not 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 being able to make any prop type of problems. Yeah, aren't they? So. It, yes, it's it's working. It's just we want it faster now. Which yeah, that's that's fair enough. It's, that's that's quite okay. What the game's about yeah yeah. Um, Hello, so sisters. There's, there's, Welcome. Hello, you know, you know, There's nothing new new to do. Although obviously it's the the, the Stargate. Exploration stuff. Yeah. So um, yes, it's mostly it's mostly expanding things to make sure everything runs smoothly, and yeah. we can keep and we can essentially we can keep doing the research without having uh, w uh, at a reasonably comfortable rate, so it doesn't take forever to do all the non-infinites. Yeah. Um, the the Razor, that's the starship for the Star Probe data. It's called Razor mm -hmm. for some reason. I think uh, it's has arrived. Renamed. <laughs> I mean that do it. It's arrived. It's here. It's happily working. Uh, I have I touched it's, anything? It's I unloaded a hell of a lot of um, probes. <laughs> yeah, with those unloading with inserters, we're not going to lose any of those. We're only going to lose uh, the pair of data cards, which is too bad. Yeah, it, it wasn't too bad. They both held one, which was destroyed on landing. I noticed, but that's fine. The silo already had a full inventory of star probe data. Right. So yeah, something um, got out of out of sync there because it's supposed to go out with n rockets and probes and bring back n thousand um, cards. Yeah. So the the decider here is saying when you got five k cards, mm. just go. So yeah. So it's supposed to bring out five rockets, five five probes, and then come back with, with all the stuff from that. So it might be. I don't know. I don't know what's worth doing here. Maybe turning off those two filter inserters uh, that are unloading. Uh, and letting it run through all of these, but is there going to be room in the spaceship for that many thousand no, cards? There won't even no, there be. No. Hmm. This has got into Honestly, a weird if we just, position. If we just let it run for a while, no, it won't. No, it won't, because it'll every time it comes back out, it'll bring in a, it'll bring out five rockets and probes and take back five rocket probes worth of stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, because it was. <clears throat> It will still load, won't it? Because the request chest is now requesting five. Yeah. Yeah. And the ship won't depart from Norbit until it's got five in it. So I mean, we could we could we could increase the uh, the number it's it uh, it's waiting for over on on here um, here to uh, to six thousand or seven thousand. But the problem is that means that when it does get through them all, it'll then fail, oh. and we won't know about or it. Or just no leave, alert. The, leave the inserter turned round in Norbit. Or read the contents of the warehouse and say when you no longer have any star probe things on board, then leave? No, because it won't unload all of them. Because there's not enough space. Oh, actually, yeah. So it should no, get... the probes, not the mm. data. Oh, probes. Yeah, not not, not the... So the, the probe rockets, okay, that's going to be a separate conversation about fixing that. That might just be a manual purge for the time being. Yeah. How many did it produce? A lot. That's a lot. Mm. Fair enough. Um... And the other also how many producers pull up. So the other alternative oh, is to say don't worry, is to not worry, is to not worry about it. Just leave it going. Mm -hmm. It will carry on working. It just might we just might lose a few bits and pieces here and there. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. It is going to be okay. it is going to be okay. It'll stop loading rockets in. Eventually, it'll use up all the rockets in it. There'll always be a belt full of rockets over here. Um, oh, the only, actually, the, the problem with it is we might lose a load of data things because if the rockets launch and there isn't room to put the uh, the result in the, into the inventory of the silo. No, that's what no it, won't, it doesn't launch. Oh no, it, it won't launch. Watching. You're right. It won't. It won't put the put in because of the inserter there. I, I've just added that. Oh, okay. 
Alright, so in that case, I think it's safe to leave it. I mean, there's a, there's a ridiculous number of data cards locked up in probes over here, and there's a load of rockets over here, but it's there now, it, we've paid for it, it's not going to cause problems. Uh, uh, it's, it's silly and unfortunate, but I don't think it actually matters. Everything's going to carry on working. Yeah, the, the silo was quite happily not launching a rocket when the ship arrived. I, I, sorry, it wasn't launching a rocket because the, the belt was full. Yeah. The, the, uh, well, because its internal buffer was full. That doesn't no. normally from launching. No, we've seen, we've I mean, seen it, losses from have, them launching. Have you seen that in point six? That's not a space exploration specific thing. It's possible it's coded around, but now I'm, I think I would I would say I think we saw it in, in 0 0.6, but I'm not certain. Because I mean I'm I'm questioning it slightly now, but I I'm still 90% sure that I saw it with an inventory full of cards sat there waiting, with uh, the thing not having launched, just sort of sat there going, well, you know. And that would be the case now, but Tristan says that's because he just put the cable in. Yeah, no, I, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but I'm, I'm before that. Yeah, it maybe. Maybe I'm you mean, it, maybe but... I, yeah. I'm not. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to say for certain because, mm. well, I'm not certain. Basically, yeah. uh, Doopy said about half an hour when we could go when we we're talking about trains, but we haven't stopped talking since that they, he hasn't. He has um, have, have stopped and are having a crisis. So that seems a uh, like it could 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 be useful. And maybe that's something to try and remember to add in in a, for a future playthrough. <laughs> it, it is good to know when your trains are having a crisis. Yeah. I'm going to have to look at my to-do list, I think, because I've lost track of what I was doing before, so I'm just going to find something new to start with. Oh, yes, start more Stardust chips. Yes, let's see if that one's toasty yet. So we're going to need another name for this one, um, because we haven't, haven't, got, haven't got a good name for this one yet, because we haven't, create, haven't, haven't launched it. Now, it's at 7,100 degrees. That's probably enough, but I think I want to wait for it to get to maybe eight and a half, nine thousand 9,000 before I actually launch it. Uh... Although maybe at this point, this is this is the right point to bring it over to heat. Yes, here, and it can top up a little bit more on heat while it fills up with whatever it is that we put it, we need to put into this thing this time. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's hop this over because it's probably got enough now. It's probably hot enough. Uh, so it should be all right. Doopy says that silos need to unload first before loading or building a new rocket. I'm pretty sure we've se we've seen that not to be to not be the case. Uh, I, I think we've we've seen it fail, but I'm not a hundred percent certain of this. I wouldn't like to say for mm. absolutely sure. Well, the ship here is about to leave, and the thing will still keep launching rockets. Oh. Or try. Oh, no, it's just put the no. cable in. Yeah. I mean, the the sort of spicy way of doing it is to remove the cable and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. I would, I would do that by removing the enable disable at the appropriate time. Yeah, 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 just to, to test it rather than the, the, yeah, the, the the specific methodology varies, but the core concept remains, um, which is oh, just yeah. just let it run one to see what happens. I do need to link the cables that don't get blueprinted, and I also need to work out which cables those are. Uh, where's another spaceship? <laughs> Here's another spaceship. So there's a green one going from there to the pylon, and there's a red one going from there to the um, uh, control doohickey. So we have a. A green one going from there to the pylon. We have a red cable going from there to there. I think that's it. I think it's just the clamps that don't get linked up properly. Because there were cables coming off the, com the computer in the middle. The, uh, there, were, uh, there are a couple of cables coming off this thing in the middle. There, there, and there. So that's that. So that's that's the got linked limit properly. for how many it's looking for. It's waiting for 50k at the moment. Uh, I did, yeah, because I was sitting there going, you know what, let's get as much of this data out as possible before we fly off. Uh. <laughs> and let's put it back. Here we go. So, <laughs> ship launching in three, two, one, and go. <laughs> what uh, you, oh, beginning mission sequence, yeah. You, see, yeah. you, you said that in a, you, that was um, the ship, you didn't do anything there, the ship launched automatically, presumably. I change the change, yeah, other than change the yeah, yeah, other than change yeah. the number. Yeah, that, that's okay. yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. okay. Cool. So there'll be one launch; it'll do happily. Mm -hmm. Then the inserter won't load it, but it could do another launch completely fine. 
so we can find out if it will launch when it's when it's got stuff in it. I mean, there there are two, there are three possibilities. One is it won't launch when there's anything in it. Uh, one is that it won't launch if it would. Um, <clears throat> one is it will it will launch if there's some some stuff in it, but won't launch if it's complete if it would overflow. And the third option is it will overflow happily and destroy a load of data cards. So those are all possibilities. Mm. Yep. Where are those pipes? Come on, boss. I just forget how just how long it takes to get anything built in Norbit, especially if you're down in the spaceport end, because it's so far away. So far. That's a no, so that's a logistics bot, I think. I have no idea where the uh, where the bots are with these things, and and we're not even having a bot frenzy up here, so it shouldn't be shouldn't be this slow. Surely we don't. We aren't out of pipes. No, nope, Norbit's orbit seems to be okay. <laughs> don't know why it's. Don't know why it's being so slow. Oh, here they, here they come. I, they must have been on top of belts, and I couldn't see them, or something like that. No, yellow on yellow. Oh, that's the uh, the single piece. Some somewhere here there is a there is a bot. Uh, oh, there are some trapped over here in the uh, Andragon ship, which is a little bit bizarre. I don't know why they're just sitting there, um, but they are. The Andragon uh, Andragon unloading over here is not working. Over here is not working. Yeah, having some fast fast bot charges around would would would, would help a bit. It's true. Um, I saw a second bot. I swear I did. I don't know how much it would help because uh, bots aren't smart yet. True, bots aren't very smart, but so, it would help. It would help when you're doing mass stuff. True, given given that I only asked for two things to be built, it probably wouldn't make all that much difference. Um, this bot certainly isn't smart because it hasn't found it hasn't come over here and done this yet, and that is well inside the green building area, so it should be absolutely fine. <sighs> what are you waiting? Where? I I, I give up. <laughs> I'll go and find something else to look at. Um, yeah, starter ships. Agnea, more. Oh yeah, I wanted more oil mines on Agnea, so that's going to be another thing for me, another trip for me to do. Where, where am I at the moment? Okay, I'm still on Talos. Um, oh, we've jammed up here with their core fragments. What? Why? That's the first one. Is it, oh, we've run out of sulfuric acid again. Um, okay, the train is being loaded. Well, has been loaded with some. Oh, it's because it's it, we're still waiting for the train to load up with uh, with Vulcanite because it takes it takes forever to load tra load a train with Vulcanite from a, on a single belt like this. So that's why that's being slow. I think we're probably okay over here. It's it's kind of hard to tell, but I expect we're okay. But I also don't like to just assume that, um, because I'll probably be wrong. Uh. 22 cards. Oh, is that what's in the no, hands of the be, inserters? It should be two cards. 22. The, ones the that... inserters all hold more than one? Yeah, but, yeah, but they're hot. Uh, Twitch just lost your stream rights. Okay. Um, is it, it seems to be back again by the looks of it. Yeah, um, oh, it's recovered. Uh... However, more bizarrely, I seem to have lost control of my character. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is that your excuse? Yes, definitely. He's flying around. So yeah, I know. So someone's I believe... controlling him. But not under my control. It... Huh? Well, all of us pressed J. Right. It seems to be normal now while he's walking. But he's not taking off. Oh, there he goes. Take. Yeah, there's a you huge got some amount bad of rocket fuel. Sorry. You got some bad rocket fuel. Yeah, clearly there's there's huge. Anything. Whenever I've got the jet jetpack up up. There's massive lag, but on the on my control inputs. But when I'm walking around as no, when I'm walking around on the ground, everything's normal. That's very weird. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it looks like the stream did something funny. I'm not quite sure exactly what. Maybe that maybe maybe my internet blipped, and that's what and that's. But then why would that cause? No, because YouTube's not jumped to another stream. Mm, true. Okay, it seems to be... YouTube is weird, and it's sometimes yeah. Blip. YouTube has funny ideas. Doesn't... Right, I seem to have control over it, everything's returned to normal now, so things it seems to have recovered from whatever was happening then, and that was very strange. Um 
Right, so what am I doing? Yes, I'm going to get I'm going to head over to um uh, Agnea now and set up some additional oil mining because we've been keeping an eye on Agnea. Well, I say we, we, people have been reminding me to keep an eye on Agnea because down here there is an oil mine and it's running out. It's down to 80,000 over here and 425. So there's half a million left, which is a reasonable amount, but it is going down at a relatively high rate. So it's going to be worth going out to maybe a patch like this one or this, actually, this one. This is right on the railway line. So let's go out and Tap that oil patch here. That'll give me another three million, and that'll probably last us for another couple of months at least, maybe more than that. Especially as I'm, I'm not going to be around for a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, so I'll go, I'll go over, build, build, build uh, yeah, a station over here and some oil mines for that one, and uh, and get that one tapped. So that's uh, another thing on the to-do list. Is there anything else I can think about while I'm flying around? Uh, oh, meteor defenses on Agnair as well. Talos more solar, solar done that. Um, Terra spaceport needs updating to have timers. Oh, for that's for the that's that's the the Mark spaceship thing. Um, the the Terra spaceships were occasionally leaving uh, rather too early. Energy four science we've looked at. Bioscience four we've looked at. Deep space science one catalog supply was struggling. Is that has what anyone looked? Is building. Hmm? Sorry, I, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Uh, Deep Space Science 4 was... <clears throat> this isn't Deep Space Science, that's, that's Advanced Science. <coughs> DSS 4 DSS is... DSS 1's catalogs were struggling, sorry, not DSS 4. My, um, I'm uh, 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 so I'm going to look at that now. DSS Apparently, I, I, I no, put that fine. in my notes. So. They're fine. I mean, they're not f fast, fast. Yeah, I mean they're being made, but that that belt is is not very is not very full. But yeah, it does look like There's looks like one of the data is slow. Oh yeah. yes, is this here? Oh, I, I got it. I got it. Uh, oh, I was I was, I was looking at it. That's why I was that's why I was talking about it because I've come over to have a look yeah. at it. Easy fix. Boom. <laughs> it is yes. Uh, Rocket is ready to have a uh, probe a satellite put into it and see if it launches. Okay. Do you want to do the honors or shall I? I shall do that. You are now watching as well. Yep. So put one in. Right, mm -hmm. So we find out what happens here. So given there's a whole inventories, it has or, there's enough space in the inventory for it to work. That yep. this is not at all surprising. It is launched. Yep. Yep. I I would expect it's it very slowly. Have a, I think the whole game is running slowly. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that's really slow. I know, right? It's never going yeah. to get into orbit at that rate. Wait, it's already in orbit. Yeah. Oh, mate, don't get me started. That has been my day at work. What? People not understanding the difference between orbital and suborbital? Mm, no, even Issa has twigged to that one. Um, no, it's the the whole, oh, this defect is, is mission blocking. You sit there going, no, it's not, because the satellite will still get to orbit and stay there. Okay, so um, now we have a basically full rocket silo. Uh, we put another rocket into it. The question is... Do we want it'll take to? A while to build. Yeah, it'll take a while to build. The question yeah. is, do we want to? Do we want to waste a probe to find out that it wastes a probe? So, if it launches one, the question will be, is that because I, I, I personally think it'll have an if, if full infantry check. The infantry's not full; it's got one and I a think little it, bit. I think it doesn't. Free. I have a feeling we, we've checked this before and it didn't. Um, mm -hmm. However, I'm not certain of this. And it is possible that I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a version of space exploration out of date or something like that. Yeah. But I don't. Th I, th I think I think we found that it does launch and you lose stuff. But I, as I say, I'm not not certain. I mean, the question is, how much of that curiosity is worth it? If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Is it worth losing a thousand memory cards, basically? Because that's that's, yeah. that's the that's the effective cost. Yeah, they're not expensive on memory cards. No. It's not that expensive. I've done that one. More sulfur for beryllium. I've done a bit, of, sort of done that. More beryllium core miners in production. Uh, kind of done that. Uh, Mark is going to be barreling the pyroflux and mineral and using the mineral water on Big Rid. Tristan's oh, yeah. probably dealt with the wood overflow by now. Um, I about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I have. It's why I make lists and check them twice. Uh, shortages of beryllium, holmium, and iridium, uh, and. Oh, the logistics, the Immersium logistics from Norbit with a with a uh, with a short with the um, the limiting factor for the uh, for the Immersium production. So we're we're making Immersium faster than it's being taken away from Norvis orbit. The train that runs from here was overworked. Um, so the question is, do we want to do we want to put in a second train? Do we want to make it so that we have one train for doing stuff up in Norbit and one that always just goes down to the ground? Do we want to have separate trains for plates and crystals? 
we need to do some, probably need to do something about it. Although that said, we've now run out of crystals, so there is a problem here. <laughs> um, You're saying this, it, the other end is fast enough. That's nothing to do with this end. Then. It seemed to be the trains going from t from Norbit, from from here. The trains going from the train that goes from here and takes the uh, Immersium off to elsewhere seemed to be the limiting factor when I was looking at it in, in, in for the video. I suspect that was a you weren't giving it time to catch up. It is possible, yes, but um, it, yeah, it, it could be. It was, yes, it was, it was trying to refill stuff as well. Um, there was a Terra ship on its way in, so that'll hopefully have an enormous amount of the um, um, crystals with it. One of the things that's probably 20, worth doing 30, is 000. setting it to the sushi system, so that we we maintain however much it is. Here, rather than potentially it does seem to, with the extra um storage space you put in last time it seems my, my impression was that it seemed to, to be okay okay um i'm That's certainly wet... wanting to monitor that rather than just assume it but I, my impression was that it was okay i'm just so very aware that it will be very swingy like this hmm well the train hasn't come back to try and get some crystals and then been unable to Take them. Well, does the train stop here if it, if it can't pick it, if it can't fill up, or does it go? Oh well, I'll go and try yeah. to take the plates somewhere. Uh, it'll, it'll take the plates somewhere if somewhere needs plates. Right. Okay. So there hasn't so been yeah, a it, it, right. There hasn't been a complete crisis yet, but it has run out. We have run out of crystals. And actually, the fact that this warehouse is completely out of crystals and it's not it's not sort of um, part out of crystals suggests that it has dumped them all into a train and the train's taken them away. Yeah. Uh, the train's probably going to come up with no crystals in it because they've all been dumped yes. down in Norbis. However, the um, the other uh, the, 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 the ship down. with some more is, is about to arrive. So oh. the new um, ship has not docked in. Anchor in Nova's orbit. Why are you not automatically anchoring? Are you why are you broken? Don't be broken. Spear view surface. All right, so you've got a docking signal here that's being fed in. You've got the signal. Uh, Why are you not docked? Docked here. Oh, one, there is one docked there, is there? Yeah, a Stardust it just ship. docked. Oh. Oh, well, you're talking about Stardust now. I I was, yes, because I got distracted and sort of okay. looked at another thing. Right. Yeah, uh, Terras one had landed. Okay, good. Uh, I need to dock my ship as well, just to add to the confusion. Um, but yeah, there is a Stardust ship. The, 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 new, the new Stardust ship I made has not um, uh, has not automatically docked. Which is a bit weird. Neither of the Naquium ships are here. Right. Okay, the, um, I've sort of run out of, in quotes, meaningful things to do. Um, get in the ship. So, what I'm going to do is just start going around the Kalida system looking for pyramids. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> um, I'd say let us know when you're about to attack one so we can come and watch. We can't come and watch because it'll be inside the pyramid. <laughs> oh well. Alright, so we'll put that there. It'll start filling up with stuff. It's at 9,000 degrees already, so that's good. Or practically 9,000 degrees. So we're going to have plenty of heat available on that one. Uh, we've got fuel coming in. This should now be fully automated. Everything should just work, TM. <clears throat> but I'm um, slightly concerned. So slightly. Well, 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 we'll need to keep an eye on it, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. It's... Um, it's a brand new ship, and I don't entirely trust it. <laughs> Tango, Oliran, and Agnea, Mike. Yep. Yeah, yeah the clamps. The clamps should be should be all the right numbers because this is a direct copy paste of a previous a previous ship that was working. We've got yeah, we've got one and a hundred over here. We've got a one and a hundred over here. It's all it's all set correctly, so it should be absolutely fine. But for some reason, maybe it's because I launched it from here. It didn't want to then automatically dock. I, I don't know. It's a bit of a worry. Um, the other concern is whether it'll auto dock when it gets out to Stardust. But I guess we'll just have to keep an eye on it and, and, and try and see what's going on. Um, but uh, but at least it's now a fun it is now basically a functional ship. We're filling it up with water here, uh, or at least we're filling it up with with we're trying to fill it up with steam. Ooh, I hope this doesn't. Oh no, we we have a. Well, we're watching. Are we watching for, for, for an amount of steam before we leave? Yes, we seem to be. No, we're watching for fuel and ice. And, oh dear, it might leave before it's got enough water on board. Uh, 
Huh. That's a reason to build them here. That's a reason to feed the water in before we before we start them moving because we don't actually store water on these ships at all. Uh, we, we, uh, well, apart from what's in the pipes, we store it as steam because there wasn't room to put a water tank in, but there was room to put a steam tank in. Uh, <laughs> so it mean, that means it takes it's quite difficult to fill the spaceship up because you have to boil all of the water before it actually gets stored. Uh, so we've got 10,000 in there now. Let's see if we can find one on its way back. Yes, there's one on its way back. How much of your steam have you used up? You're still at 45,000. Okay, so I think I think the 10,000 steam it's practically got now will be enough. I'm um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm not worried anymore. I think even if even if it launches now, it will still even if it launches now, it'll it'll be okay because it's got 13,000 steam, and the other one is basically back with only 5,000 uh, used. So I think that should be all right. Uh, what are we waiting for over here? We seem to have filled it up. Four inputs. We've got four ticks. We're waiting for five. Oh no, we do have a t we do have a thing watching for steam. Okay, that's all right then. So yeah, yeah, we're watching for this to fill up with with steam, and then when it once we've got forty five thousand steam in there, then the ship will divide. Okay, good. We have we have done. We have been sensible about it. Uh, we are watching for all the, all the different inputs. Thank goodness for that. Uh, so yeah, once this fills up to another 25,000 steam in there, then it should automatically depart. Which is a little, slightly unfortunate timing because the Stardust 2 has just arrived back over here to get some more stuff. Um, but never mind. Uh, we, 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 we'll, we'll space the ships as, uh, however it seems appropriate. Turns oh, out you can shift click things in the Universe Explorer and it sets your all the Delta Vs as from there. Okay, yes. that's quite neat. It's quite cool. I was wanting to select multiple things to change their priority. All at once, <laughs> setting all the uh, and all the planets with what's names on to priority one. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mike shouldn't shouldn't have any. Yeah, uh, it shouldn't need some Fs from us. He should be absolutely fine out there. Given how given our uh, new ultra advanced um, uh, biter defeating technologies that we have, uh, I'm I'm not too worried about his safety even on Agnea. I think he should be all right. But that just means it'll be even funnier if he does get himself killed. <laughs> oh yeah, it's going to be hilarious. I mean, in, in fairness, I'm having to think about this. And the biggest issue I can see, genuinely, is for things like Oliran, huge planet space elevator, just go down, look at the thing, come back out again. Easy. Boom. Bob's your uncle. Mm -hmm. However, Agnea... Actually, Agnea does have a space elevator. That's Agnea fun. has a space elevator, yeah. Tango, no <laughs> space elevator. So yeah. it's not even generated yet. Bite a threat, hundred percent. Okay, that'll be a fun. So that that's that's going to be about the same number of biters as there were out on Anathema. Um, yeah. So yeah, should be a should be a little bit exciting. So what I'm thinking of doing is borrowing the combat ship. Mm. I think using the combat ship for this sort of thing is the way forwards. Yeah. So I should arguably do just taking that. So I mean, just... that's what it was designed for. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I, I don't know whether I should that. actually warn you about this, but Agnea was the planet where I uh, opened up the pyramid and then had to and then had to leave Damn. in a hurry. Uh, so there, it's going to be a bit tougher than your normal pyramids, um, uh, but we don't really know by how much. <laughs> I just saw. I just sent the um, the 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 Cladrian off to Tango orbit. Just happily in time to watch Tristan stream away from it, going no. <laughs> I don't want to go on an adventure. <laughs> I yeah, Trist an adventure. Tristan could go, and attack, um, could go and attack Tango. Oh, I see blipping. I, I was going for my spaceship because I've loaded it full of modules to take over to... Well, I've tried to uh, to take over to Njord. I've loaded my combat vest on, which has obviously no life support, before going down to the surface. Fortunately, I can hold my breath in a vacuum for long enough for it to not matter. <laughs> no, yeah, I've not used any uh, air canisters the entire game. Temple, what's it? What are they? Pyramids. Pyramid, relatively central. Yeah, they're always pretty close to the centre of the planet. It's right next to a railway, if that helps. Listen, I'm blind. Um, I cannot see. That. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, it's the dustier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see. You've had to curve the railway around it. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oh, look at all these, all these spaceships all flying out in per from uh, Norvis in perfect sync. Got to Taras, to Agnea, to Bigrid, and the Spear, which okay. needs renaming. So I'm, I'm um, open to suggestions for another, um, <coughs> another Stardust type name for the Spear. Uh, would, would appreciate it. Another uh, rocket launch. 
in Kalidus. See if it happens. I will go in after that. Go for it. Let me just quickly find Kalidus orbit. Thank you. I realize how long the list was on Universe Explorer. <laughs> no, it's right. It's on in the bottom left because you're in the solar system. Oh, that's true. You'd yeah. be amazed at how often I don't use that. Mm. Right, I, so yeah, it took, I only just realized, rem started remembering that launched. existed. Yep, it's going to wipe them out. Oh no! So the, this, this one's the one about because it's not full full. Yeah, but it's going um, to be more than full. It's going to be more than full. After yeah, right, I'm, I'm, yes. I'm with you on this one. It's I, I think this is the last one it will launch. That's that's no. my expectation. Right. You just want us to waste more probes. I mean that as well, but. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think you're. I, th I think you're wrong at that on that on that one. Uh, now, why are you waiting? What are you? What's this one waiting for? I mean, g given the other logic in the game, which is all about is full, and stack counting is not really a thing. But it, that that's my expectation. I, oh, I might well be wrong, but, but th these are vanilla things. Yes, they're a space variant, but it's just. Oh, we're waiting for more salt. Yeah, that's why. Vanilla launch silos. True. Essentially. Oh, blimey. Oh, I thought you'd have to press enter to go in. <laughs> and you do not. Um, all I'm going to say is it's really not that dangerous in here, although there's a lot of behemoth worms. It's basically pure worms at this point. Okay. So There is a lot of goo. The worms got really <laughs> hungry and ate all the biters. Maybe. <laughs> in fairness, there's also a lot of biter corpses hanging out. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder why this corpse Oh, did you, did you go in and fire a nuke and then nope. die immediately? Or something. Me. There is n yeah. no nuclear scorch blast in here, so okay. if he did, he did it very badly. I just. Hmm. I don't. Okay, my biggest I don't issue right now. Honest. I I don't know how easy it's going to be, Lawrence, for you to put a. Ooh, that's interesting. Put a screenshot in the Discord. Um, but this. Uh, I'll screenshot from Discord into the. Um, oh yeah, I can do that. Onto, oh, well, onto the stream. Where are you putting it? Uh, the K two S M P. Oh yeah. Ah. K two S E M P channel. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. So that's what we've seen. Can I zoom? I can't zoom. Could you uh, wait? Yeah. Clean, clean. If you could clean all the corpses away and then retake the screenshot, that'd be much appreciated. I'll, 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 get, <laughs> I'll get. I'll get me mop and uh, me squeegee. That'd be that'd be very helpful because at the moment we can't just we just can't see what's going on there. Yeah. <clears throat> Right, there's some sulfur arriving to be taken out to Stardust, so that's, or to load up the Stardust spaceship, so that's good. Um, I had a train of thought. Where was my train of thought going? Yes, okay, so the yeah, this Stardust, sh Stardust ship its system is, is working, Stardust ship is now working quite nicely. Uh, got a little bit of sulfur coming through, fine. Um, but it's just waiting for a load more sulfur to be available for it to load up with before it goes. So the, but, so the extra ship is efficiency working. Nine module. Efficiency, efficiency nine. Nine. another efficiency. Totally oh, worth it. Mike, you could have gone to a better one. Yeah, well, you know. I had to clean up what someone else hadn't finished. <laughs> you didn't have to go there first. I need to go to Agnair at some point, so... <laughs> yeah. While you're How out long... there, could you set up a new oil mine, please? How long does it take to... I haven't got any pump checks. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to... Um, for, for the corpses to despawn? Not sure. Try leaving the pyramid and going back in again. I'm just do, just doing that. Okay, that would seem like oh inst instant. Okay, good. That's handy. <laughs> uh, although there's some for flora and fauna over the. Um... Is it blocking anything? How is Stardust doing? That's a good question. Oh, this is a really long list. Actually, exactly very stupid. Let's take the screenshot first and then be stupid. That's probably the sensible way of doing it. Are you about to try and nuke the? Um... No, 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 no. I was going to try and because um, it's just you know the, the 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 sprite stuff on the ground, which is there for pure decoration. Yeah. I was going to paste stone over it. Oh, I see. And you you'd feel rather and silly if that did lose you the um, all of the. Um, I would feel incredibly stupid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Stardust is doing absolutely fine. Stardust is bored, waiting for a spaceship to turn up at the moment. We've got a nice... Well, it's not completely full, but we've got a decent supply of sulfuric acid. The sulfur has all run out, but it's all been turned into sulfuric acid, so we've got plenty of that. Um, we're just waiting for a spaceship to arrive, and at the moment there is... Well, okay, the Stardust is about to arrive. Uh, Express is on its way out. Starstruck is on its way in. So, no, all... all um, so, sorry, I didn't I didn't res respond to Ilya's uh, suggestion for the... Or, or um, Doopies, actually. Um... 
so the, the name it has to at least begin with star so the uh, so the ships appear in the right place in the um in in the uh, in the list so you see we've got stardust in the order of the asteroid we've got starstruck we've got stardust express those are all quite good puns i appreciate those uh, so something along those lines uh, would be would 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 be would be the best is what we're is what i'm looking for essentially oh i've got good news name as well please mike yep i'll do it in a sec i have good news the uh, placing stone down the thing redraws itself over the top Oh, okay. So I can give a clearer screenshot. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that I'd got a screenshot before I deleted the thing. Yeah. That's another one with the top right triangle thing being empty. I, oh. I'll have a look at that at a different point, because I, I don't know how useful that is. Seems kind of the, the main pyramid is the correct way around, like the on the bottom part. There we go, right. I've the... now reposted that little thing. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll put it in the video, it's fine, I think. Uh, save it for then. Uh, right. Oh, the um, the graph has the... Uh, there we go. The graph has the um, plastic being reported sort of unhelpfully. Uh, Tristan, you were, I think you were going to have a look at that and make it so it, the, the, the bar filled from the top or something like that, or made it made it obvious oh, right. that it was that it was that it was low that it was showing the uh, amount of space available rather than the amount of plastic available. Yeah, basically just change the bottom mm. one to always be on. Oh, I already have. The bottom light is always lit. So. Uh, okay. And always green, I get. Oh well, yeah. yeah. Well, oh, it's, or, no. it's green unless green unless, unless there's a problem. Right. Okay, I might no I might notice that and get it correct. Then we'll we'll, we'll wait and see. Yeah. If it if it's empty, then you'll you'll look at it and see there's a green blob there and go, okay, that's fine. If yeah. It's not empty. Then, yeah. Okay. Okay. I think the next thing for me to do is probably to go out to Agnea then and set up the oil mines and the additional um, defences. Uh, where am I? I am here. Oh, my uh, <laughs> my solar panels have been upgraded while I wasn't looking. Thank you very much. Uh, so over here, I need some uh, more guns. Guns, lots of guns, lots of guns, oh, yeah. lots of guns. Thank you, Mark. I I noticed it looked weird, but I hadn't registered why it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of this. I, I think. Oh, how's the power situation on Agnea at the moment? Uh, scroll, 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 scroll. Agnea, that one. Have you got the power? Fine. It's absolutely fine. Oh yeah, loads of power. Okay, good. Thank you. And also, I'm going to need some uh, pump jacks. Pim, 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 Let's let's request a big fluid tank. Let's request a big fluid tank as well, because there's no harm in having more than I need. Uh, just one, though, I think will be fine. Right, go out and uh, set that up, and um, then we can have the have the uh, all, all the oil we could possibly want, and, uh, and the guns are eventually going to arrive too. Right, so while that's running, let's come over here and see how this building construction is getting on over here. Uh, it's getting on quite nicely. Um, I can't put the, unfortunately, I can't put the uh, the beam receiver in yet, which is the first, th which is the the first and most important thing that I want to put in because that's the one that takes a little while to, to heat up and get to get properly toasty. But oh well, we'll uh, try and be patient. Not very good at patient. So while I'm waiting for that to happen, let's go off and well, Agneo. Yet yeah, we have plenty, plenty of that available. Kothar, we're still, still short of iridium. Loads of um, cryonite, no, no, no holmium. Uh, big red, no, absolutely no um, uh, vitalic reagent. Taras, ah, oh, the crystal, the crystals have arrived. Um, so we now have a bajillion uh, crystals available. So that's that's now well stocked as of right now, at least. Tell us we have 429 stacks of, um, of beryllium, so that's looking pretty healthy now. Um, what about the other end? That's the other. That's the next question. Uh, Talos, let's have another look at you. How are you doing for producing? So we've got um, yeah, the salt. The sulfur always seems to be gone over here. Where is this all go? I mean, yes, I know it's all being turned into acid, but we filled the pipes up though at least. So we've got we've got a stock of it in the pipes. Is there, maybe there's a tank somewhere that we've been 
filling it up. I don't see a tank. Hmm. Hydrogen um, chloride's low on Kothar again. <laughs> I mean, we're sort of bouncing between the two, but it's getting silly. Yeah, it's just, you need to obviously just increase both of them by some crazy amount. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you look at the production graph, it is definitely trending upwards. Um, that makes sense. Uh, but, I mean, you know, the, yeah, a couple I of weeks see. back when you were complaining about it, it was at 350 yeah. Then it was at six hundred ish. Oh, I agree. That is that isn't, up, that isn't a good a good up, a healthy upwards yeah. trend. Yeah. Um, we're still short it's of it still... though. <laughs> hmm? Oh we're yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I, it, 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 the problem is because we don't have a, a a good supply of it. It's hard to tell how short of it we are. I mean, when it was when at the, right now we're using it at about twelve hundred per minute, but that's mm. because probably because we're filling refilling buffers with intermediates. So who knows? Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, personally, I'm inclined to just let it keep running for now. Uh, I mean, it's, it's got down to the thing where physical space is an issue, <laughs> water supply is an issue, Oof. Um, stone supply is an issue. Yeah, it's, it's it's all doable. It's it's, it's stamping out many more times. Yeah, and the right places and blah, blah blah blah. Yeah, and you could let it um, let it run for a bit and see if see if things seem to catch up. Um, yeah. For your amusement, I will let you know that you are now actually you are currently producing iridium faster than I'm producing beryllium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying nothing, mate. Which is, <laughs> which is impressive given the uh, additional complexity of the uh, beryllium. Uh, sorry, the uh, iridium recipe. So, yeah, you're, it, it's doing well. It's just the question is just is, is it doing well enough? Yeah, I, I expect therefore to um, see a lot of ragging on the uh, beryllium production in this week's video. Well, I have been I have been complaining about the lack of beryllium quite a bit in the last over the last couple of weeks, as you'd know if you watched the videos. Um, uh, yeah, in fairness, no, I do remember that. I do watch some of the videos. I, I comment on them as well. <laughs> true, true. You know, um, I comment on them. So you reply to them. <laughs> um, and I, I've, I've done. So, I have done a little bit of upgrading for the for the beryllium supply. Um, it's been put in like three more core miners and um, and upgrade the modules. So it's it's not a it's not the the biggest of um, upgrades. And in fact, the the core the core processing system now can't <clears> keep up. So, but yep. I don't think we're actually that, that short of beryllium, as I was saying at the beginning of the stream. Um, I think it's because we we did a huge we did a load of the very very astro heavy researches, and more importantly, when the immersium kicked back in again, we suddenly made a huge amount of low density structures, and that ripped through the beryllium yeah. um, scaffolds. So, I mean, I'm actually let's look let's look at the consumption graph for the beryllium before I before I say this so, too confidently. And I was just doing that. It, it is genuinely about half the amount of iridium, and it's got fewer troughs, but it's not totally incomparable. Are you talk, are you I'm, looking, I'm looking at 10 hours rather than one. Okay. Are you looking, but, at, are you looking at consumption or production? Production and consumption. Okay. Yeah, the cons consumption consumption of any of them will spike because if a train takes away a a a, a, a train's worth oh, yeah, of yeah. whatever, then it'll it, it'll spike as it replaces all as it replaces that. So it's, it's yeah, kind of hard to tell, but uh, that's that's expected. It's a given. Mm. Um, so there's. I do the, know the, that we, uh, the, the production rate of the beryllium is has been two hundred and ninety nine per minute over the last ten hours, and the consumption has been three hundred and sixteen per minute. But over the mm. last hour, last hour. Um, they've been almost exactly the same. <laughs> They're both at about 350. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah the frames per second are um, are struggling a wee bit at the moment. The uh, this, these stats graphs are not are not kind to my uh, to my computer. Hmm. Yeah. I. I. Yes. I think I would like to replace this with something that uses. Basically, it is essentially designed around slightly more modern principles. Essentially, so better, better, um, better beacons. I've upgraded it to the good modules now, all well, the tier six modules anyway, which is as good as we're going to go for something like beryllium. Um, but I, yes, I would like to upgrade this further to, to, to use have more of these trains being pulled in. Essentially, oh, I can up, up the um, tr oh, I haven't got a train limit set here at all. <laughs> I was going to say I could update up up the train limit, but I, I don't need to because it doesn't have one. Um, Remember to delete those surfaces when you're done, Mike. I will, don't worry. <laughs> but I've landed the Caladrian next to my um, personal ship. Oh no, I'm asphyxiating in the vacuum of space. There we are. <laughs> uh, I'm going to send my personal ship home because there's no point in me having it with me. No, not really. Are you about to land on Tango then? Yep. Do you want to watch? Yeah, but I've got, I'm, I'm ready to click. Well, if I, I'm ready. Re well, you, you, you go and then I'll come and join you as soon as you're there. 
Okay. Right. Everyone ready for some lag? Yep. yep. Say when, because it's going to take me a whole second to get there. Okay, uh, when? Everybody else? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, right. Okay, launching from orbit to... Oh, ground. wait, I've just, I just realised what I... No, I could do this more sensibly. Um, if I actually watch the spaceship... Oh, no, I won't see it jump, because no, it's no. in, in orbit. Oh, no, it's not in orbit. It shouldn't... Oh, it, it is it's, orbit, it's between it? orbit and... Ah, it's between and orbits ground. now, so yes, if I watch it... What's, <coughs> what's that ship called? Oh, it's the Caladrian. Caladri it? Cladri yeah, it's the Caladrian. Of course it is. Right, okay, I'm ready. Okay, you ready? So, anchoring, generating surface. Uh. <laughs> Seconds per frame. Where's the, uh, the pyramid? Bear with. I should really have scattered this first. This 100% threat planet is not very threatening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I sure the uh, artillery will find some stuff to shoot. And Central will generally be a little safer. Oh, uh, there we go. There's a little. If anyone sees the founder. I'm watching uh, the spaceship because. Not and I just staring at the. Spaceship. Oh, I have just crushed a whole load of coal. Oh, no. When you say crushed a load of coal, do you mean you just landed uh, on a coal landed patch? Landed on a coal patch, yeah, and so it will delete the coal from underneath the ship. Oh, will it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just land and nuke the pyramid, shall we? <laughs> Listen, if it survived this long, it's going to be fine. Impressively, the but the uh, the the um, shockwave from it stopped just before it hit the pyramid. So, um, it, 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 if, it, if it had been shooting. deliberate, it would have been amazing. Put it that way. What do you mean if? Yeah. <clears throat> I know you're not in any any kind of control of the um, <laughs> of the artillery. True. Boom. Boom. Go the guns. Boom. 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 Why are you going after the biter? Because I don't, want to destroy the, I don't want them to destroy the ship whilst they're not paying attention. <laughs> that would be quite entertaining. You could have, you could have gone in, kill all the biters in there, grab. Yeah, the stuff. but I've also got to clean the place and. <laughs> Need playing that uh, viscera cleanup detail game. Yep. Oops. A couple of the biters got through to the ship, and I had to shoot them, and the ship had to shoot them. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm suitably content. Right, going in. Dun, dun, dun. Hang on, just fly a bit closer, it's still a long hop. <laughs> there we go, going in. And he was never seen again. What do you think, should I? Uh, Mike, can you ping inside the uh, <laughs> pyramid? No, we cannot on you, okay. Is yeah. it efficiency <laughs> Hooray. I wonder, I wonder if Kalidus system is has a higher chance of uh, efficiency ones. And where I we, mean, I think I'm I've not convinced it's a statistically significant sample. Mm. We got, we, did, we definitely got our first go um, productivity into... module for, um, from uh, from first, from ta ta first pyramid you go into Talos? gives you uh, productivity. Second pyramid you go into gives you a speed. Then I believe it's random. Okay. So Mike has just been unlucky with the uh, with his randoms, basically. <laughs> Chat that tells says I should launch the spaceship, and I'm gonna say I would have done, but then I had this sudden worry that it wasn't gonna have enough um, fuel in it to land and take off again. So I thought I'd better not. Um, yeah, that's a thing I need to check. But it was very very uh, tempting. Um, launch energy. Twenty two five six eight seven. Oh yeah, it's got enough energy to launch about ten times over. So yeah, I should have I should have just launched it and not said anything. So you'd come out and gone, "Where's my spaceship, dude? Where's my <laughs> spaceship?" But oh well, never mind. That would have been most uncool. Yeah, but it'd have been funny. Oh yeah, that's, that's a wasting gift. so many nukes. It's also true. Yes, this is rather wasteful of all all our um, artillery ammo. I wonder if it's got to the app. Oh, that's pollution. I uh, meant uh, turrets. Oh no, no, it's still got a bit further. It can nuke, uh, nuke stuff. <laughs> you see the, um, the the laser artillery blasting the uh, the biters basically before they get even get into 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 uh, the radar coverage area. Oh, it's found some more stuff to nuke over here as well. These ones have done seem to have done remarkably well. Oh no, now take it back. They take, haven't done remarkably taking well. Taking <laughs> good screenshots is definitely the the challenge here. What's this one? This is Tango, isn't it? Uh, yes. Okay, right, screenshot taken, and evacuating. This one isn't blank in the top right of the triangle. 
Oh, good. We'll we'll have a good think about the triangles later, I think. Yeah. Uh, where do I want to go next? Seven. Seven sulfur. Oh, oops. And no sulfur. Tell us. No, we've already got tell us. Not an only run, so it's only run. Let's load more up here, though. So it's not so bad. I've not been to Ollie Ran for ages. <laughs> Why didn't you do Ollie Ran while you were out there? Do its pyramid while you were out there? Uh because at the time I didn't have much in the way of weaponry. Didn't stop me trying, and I got—I managed one of them. Didn't you die? Not on um, Tar Talos. No, I did Talos successfully. New is. So, uh, given that a system can have multiple, and we might not have dis discovered them all with his own discovery. When we go out to do ones in other uh, in other systems, should we be taking a launch silo and a bunch of vanilla satellites <laughs> to do a bunch of launches there to generate the rest of the system? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not a, not a bad idea. I mean, it's going to create a chunky save file, but we've already got that. Oh, I just fired a shot inside the ship. It's. It's not though, no, because it's oh, cool. as long but as you don't do generate damage. the planets. Uh, you, go, you go to the relevant orbit. Which you're going true. To the anyway. yeah, the existence of the planets is defined by seed. So, mm. as long as the surface isn't generated, it should already theoretically. Uh, and yeah, it shouldn't be a huge amount of data either way. You're about to delete Tango's surfaces once you've left. Yes, and I have <laughs> now left. So, subtle reminder there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was busy writing my notes. Uh, okay, I'll put in my notes. Reminded Mike to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> These notes get so passive aggressive sometimes. <laughs> they do, they do. Uh, okay, this is zero to eating. Oh no, I can use the search, can't I? Uh, oh yeah, those the um the dimensional anchors might do something vaguely useful. We're going to put some of those down at some point. I noticed Mark had one in this ship. Uh, yes. Um, as soon as I like fixed Big Red here um, or improved it, uh, I'll go there. Oh, I'm about to steal a <coughs> thought. Why am I being brought? No, oh, because I've got a storage chest. It's just being filled up with random crap. <laughs> Great. I should turn that into a purple chest when we get back. I'll just set the filter on it. It's already full. Something. I want to get rid of everything that's in it because it's just fill it with junk <laughs> for no apparent reason. Okay. When you're finished using them as when you need them to be yellow chests. Is that the, is that yeah. The yeah. Yeah. yeah the, we've got the same problem with the Caladrian where a, yeah, a storage chest has just been filled with random junk because it was there. Mm-hmm. Um, what I did for the collection in the DSC before going out to um, get Arcospheres was to replace the chests with red chests and put storage chests in the you know, the yellow chests and the red chests. Mm. And yeah, then it's, 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 it's the, it's the, it, yeah, managing the chests is, is an important part of, of flying around with a logistic enabled system like this, and I'm just, I just yeah. getting it basically. <laughs> no problem, Doopy. <That's> <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <clears throat> right, so I'm off to Agnea in order to put out more guns, guns, lots of guns, lots of guns, and another uh, and and some more oil mining, because we had a uh, we had a, a, a meteor manage to sneak past the guns that we had it set up out there and uh, do do some damage, and we don't want that to happen, so we're going to go and try and fix all of that. Uh, Mike, shut up. Thank you. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I was muted. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we we'll go out and sort that out. Uh, in the meantime, I am going to turn it straight back on again now because I want to think, is there anything else I should be working on at the moment? Because uh, I've done the first two, that's all sorted. Naquium Jam, I haven't actually done anything about that. Oh, I should have done that. I should have fixed that while I was out on Talos. I forgot about that. Um, but that said, we, we need, we, we're using the Naquium fast enough now that I don't think we need to worry about that. Um, but I'm monitoring the Beryllium and Imosite. That, that I've done quite a lot of. I've made another start. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at the Stardust ship that I'm halfway through building at the moment. So if we go back all the way up to uh, Norbit, which is, God knows, somewhere up here. Uh, Norbit's orbit. There we go, that one. Uh, 
Uh, oh yes, you're right. I did fix it. Thank you. Yes, you're quite right. That, that, yeah, that was that, that is sorted. Template is partly templated, so let's properly template that. Boom. There we go. Now we can actually get that in place, and then it, the, the beam is already pointed there, so that should start working immediately. Um, <clears throat> can't. Oh, I can, actually, I can do some of the wiring over here. So it's a green cable going from here to here, and it's a red cable. Go oh no, I can't do the red cable yet because it needs to go to this thing, which hasn't been placed yet. So if we can get that put down as soon as possible, I would very much appreciate it. Go, go, magic robots. Then back over here, how are we doing? Um, how are we doing for time? We are 17 seconds away. Okay, I think I can watch it for 17 seconds, even at 35 frame, uh, UPS. That's not going to be that long. Um, then I'm going to need... Uh, we we got any? We've got two construction bots in here. No, let's let's just use mine. I think it's probably going to be easier. Uh, I'm still full of rubbish. Uh, all right, we'll get rid of a load of those. Keep a couple of stacks of them. I think actually. Take all the guns. Take those. Take those. Uh, right, that should be. Uh, oh no, I'm going to need all of this as well. Oh, that's not going to fit. I am not very tired. Why have I got all this coal? Also, I'm going to make another um, dump chest over here. Uh, don't want those. Going into the other one. Oh, okay. Have fun. Don't need. Any. Actually, we'll hang on. To... It's no, I don't know. Genuinely, like not that tough. I don't really expect it to be um, because we, we've got because we are so overspecced compared to what the game expects us to have at this point, um, or because we've got all the K2 weapons now. Uh, so we are significantly more dangerous than uh, than we than we should be in inverted commas. So I expect now that we've got now that we've got all the good armaments, the pyramids. Are, I don't expect any of the pyramids to be any real um, any real challenge. True. Oh, I do like the map of the pyramid of fairness. That's quite nice. When you're inside the pyramid, and give it uh, and run the map thing. Okay. I'll go on map view. Can't remember what that looks like. Screenshot it. That's not going to hurt me. Okay, thank you. I'll have a look when we're... Oh, I've run out of scaffolding already. <laughs> have a look when we're not streaming. Yep, near it. Am I going to run out of scaffolding again before I get all this built? Uh, yes, yes, I am. Pretty much am. I might I might do a little bit of nibbling around the edges and get rid of some of it. But at the moment, we're we're not doing too badly. So if I, if I, now, I can now put in another row of guns across... Here, but instead of there, they would go. Yep, yeah, that is the edge. So they go there, and I could put the uh, inserters between them, and there, and there, and then I just run the inserters all the way up along here, like <coughs> this. So everything is armed. Looks like I'm going to need another um, pylon, but that's fine. I've got plenty of those. I've got lock in, slot in there, and you know what? Let's do one more row of them up here as well, because why not? Um, right, do you think... Oh, that's why not, because I've run out of... Um... <laughs> I've run out. There we go. That's probably enough. I should, should, keep, should keep the planet safe. Um, it best keep it safe, because that's all I've got. Now, down here comes the okay, elevator. Right. I believe we've now got screenshots from 1, 2, 3. Six to do. We count all six of the planets in. Wait, no, one of them's missing. Which one's missing? There's Norbit. Not Norbit. Nor Norbit doesn't have one, <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five. I believe we've now completed the Cleda system. Okay, nice. All well this information. Um, 10 o'clock. Yeah. It is 10 o'clock. I need to head off in the not too distant future. Uh, my daughter is not entirely well. Uh, and I'm expecting a disrupted night. Am I which when nice? got the day job and so on. Oh, I was very nearly there. I got distracted from. Uh, no, no, very nearly there. Why are the? Uh, not so much. Why are there bots following me? Because I know I know the reason for that. But why are my bots out doing stuff? It's probably signals like that, that they've been played putting down. Right. The the oil patches are really really hard to spot on this planet because they kind of blend in when you're zoomed a little uh, zoomed out a little bit, especially as it's dark at the moment. Uh, right, but however, if I get one of these out, then we do at least get the green height, the green outline on them, so it um, makes things a bit easier. So I'm going to put the um, the oil station in. Uh, I should put it in up here, have it opposite this one. Why not? I could point all of these upwards and then try and uh, 
um, and then pipe it all up there and yeah, stuff. Okay, so that's all that down. Um, I need power for it all. That's easy. Just do that. <laughs> and then, right, let's go and copy the other other oil station because that's going to be the easiest way to make up make an oil station. I've got three three tanks in this one. Uh, fine, that's that is a, a quantity. I don't think it really matters to be honest. Uh, put you in up here like that because then I can use the same turnaround area to make it nice and easy. A little bit of a bot spray to get those placed. There we go. And you're presumably... Ah! <laughs> um, right, we need to have an enable disable on these stations. Oh I, oh, I don't have any pipes. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, well, at least there's going to be plenty of iron on this planet because we're doing core stuff. But, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Someday, I'll learn to actually prepare before I come out to a, a random planet to... Uh, and, and think it all the way through, rather than just going, yeah, I'll grab a load of this, it'll probably be fine. Um, so, down here, are there any pipes? Uh, yep, there's some pipes in there, actually. Let's have those. There's quite a lot of random stuff in here. Uh, sort warehouse. Oh, nice. Plenty of pipes. Okay. Uh, oh, I'd had some. <laughs> okay, I had some steel pipes. I could have used those. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit tired today, and I'm apparently not, um, possibly not playing it quite my smartest. Right up here, and then across a bit. I think. Uh, get the pipes put in. Then we can get the. Then we can get the oil pumping out. Um, and then I'll set up the uh, the train limit the limits on on the, on the stations so to make sure trains don't go to ones when they shouldn't do. Um, that's not going to be too much of a worry for for a little while um, because at the moment we're digging it up. I, I've just got the one um, oil place, and so I've just got the trains coming in whenever they want. Uh, I've just got the train going straight to that one all the time, uh, rather than faffing around with any kind of. Um... I'm about to place the dimensional anchor. Oh, is that in Kalidas orbit? I see. Yes, I think, I see. pinked. Yeah, one second. Oh, Just everything okay. breaks. The whole system shuts down. <laughs> Five hundred gigawatts of power required. All right, let's see what happens. Is our dimension okay, now anchored? To see if anything happens. It is charging. No power. Oh, blue. Oh. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so it has a little battery icon, and it says low power. So uh, it was zero. Blue. Oh. I, I... <laughs> Look at the uh, so uh, energy network. capacity one. <laughs> Teta Jewel. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's that's yeah, oh, that's capacity insane. though. It's not. It's not. No, it's not the consumption. It doesn't say the consumption. Max yeah. consumption is sixty gigawatts. Oh, where do you see okay. that? Uh, uh, on the item itself. If you oh, it. okay. So I'll sixty six zero gigawatts. Sixty. Yeah. Yes, six zero. Jeez. Yeah, if you look in in the um, the electric net network, you throw it down again, Mark. Uh, yes. <laughs> and then look yeah. at the electric network. Mm. Of the 47 gigawatts being produced, oh, yeah. <laughs> all 47 are being eaten by the dimensional anchor. It's still complaining there's not enough power. Yeah, we, we, the, yeah. The, the info says out of 104 gigawatts. So yeah, the 660, that, that fits with the 60 you're saying. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right, okay. That's... Okay, so I'll we expand need to... a bit here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple um, more panels. Triple the size yeah. of it and you'd be about right. Um yeah, is that realistic with solar panels? I mean, it, it is possible, obviously, <laughs> but Hol holmium solar panels. How many do we have? Uh, like a few hundreds. Oh, I'm making them uh, on on uh, in orbit. Right, there's Just, there are thirty eight hundred. Uh, are you talking here. naquium solar panels? Though? Oh, naquium. Uh, right. Oh, I am yes. Top yes. top tier ones. Top tier. Okay, uh, so... it's not worth the naquium though. The, well, the they are. do we want so to be looking into an alternative um, power supply? So we've got in the in, in, in the researches we've got things like um, singularity, the, the singularity reactors, reactors that might be quite yep. good. It turns matter into energy. Now I don't know how much it produces. Um, oh, two gigawatts. That's pathetic. <laughs> so it's the the concern I've got with just writing off the neguium, the the tier three solar panels is nominally I agree it doesn't seem worth it for generic day-to-day -day stuff but the size of the solar field you'd need to produce 60 gigawatts of power 
It only halves the size of it, though. <laughs> yeah, mark. but how many dimensional anchors do we need? Because the Stargate device has got. Well, the thing um, is that that that, that 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 question. Yeah, where the these these uh, icons, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, it's got eight. So, could you place it down again, please, Mark? I didn't see anything change here. What are you looking at? Fenestra. Fenestra oh, there. But then it wasn't charged up. So. It wasn't charged up, that's true. But if we suddenly need to be stamping down loads of these things, I mean, okay, yeah, sure, you could just do phenomenal... So the light is on currently. It doesn't, didn't change anything, right? Nothing's changed. No. However, no, although he's out there he... prodding the buttons. And, and also, they, this doesn't have power either. Mm. And it needs, yeah. it needs 10 gigawatts. So... Um, yeah, so, so the thing is, the, so what you're saying, Mike, um, about the so solar field, because the, because we it's we don't need a lot of it, a lot of them. Therefore, why not just use the Naquim? I feel that works both ways. If we don't need a lot of them, then why not just build a massive solar field? Um, mm. It's equally, I think that argument is equally valid in either direction. Yeah, um, it's more the point I was making is about the logistics and supply and transport of you know sixty gigawatts of these things, mm. or the. the and all of the, the scaffolding, all the gubbins and scaffolding. Scaffolding and is going to be the effort of that, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that we you know, have to. I'm just, I don't want to write it off just now because we mm. feel that on back of the, I mean, it, okay, it's not back of the envelope calculations, but in the grand scheme of things, it kind of is. Uh, we feel that it's not worth it. We might suddenly you know, realize later why not just use this much more expensive thing. Mm. Um, yeah, everything else uh, you have to supply. Uh, with mm. something to to keep it up, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking but at the other reactors out of curiosity to see how much power they produce. And the um, the nuclear reactor is 250 megawatts. The uh, antimatter reactor is 400 megawatts. The fusion reactor is 500 megawatts. And then the uh, and then the, the the singularity reactor we were looking at a moment ago is two gigawatts. So it is significantly bigger than any of the other reactors. So maybe the idea is that you just go in and you put down. Several of them. Ooh, does it get a neighbor bonus? I didn't check that. Uh, singularity reactor. It doesn't know. It doesn't mention no. na neighbor bonus on that one. Uh, that's a shame because packing those in close together would be quite impressive. Yeah. But then I guess that it's it's not. To, I do, <clears throat> I get the impression it says it says it it turns uh, few, uh, matter into into electricity. It generates electricity, not heat. Whereas the other ones. Yeah, generate heat. So so the singularity reactor is an, is a power station all by itself. Whereas everything else. Um, a fusion reactor so consumes electricity. Matter, though. I take it back. So um, a matter cube is uh, basically, it's basically an, uh, if you've got a fuel cell, combine that with a matter cube and that's just refilled it. So mm. it's not as horrific a supply. Yeah, I mean, long last in, sort, in Kalidus, we already have a solar field, so I would expand that there, and then we're good for Kalidus. But in the next one, we could try something else, because we have to set up a new system there anyway. Mm. Yeah, and it could be... I, I, I think, to an extent, they're both going to be simple enough that the fact that there's already some of it set up makes no difference. Um, however, for interest, it is, it is more interesting to do to have maybe the Kalidus one solar powered, and then certainly we're going to need um, something out in Fenestra that isn't going to be solar because solar is not realistic out here. Um, so we're probably going. We might as well use the Singularity reactor because it's only going to take five of those to power the Stargate. Uh, we seeing the, the, um, the dimensional anchor. The power we'll put modules in it on the thing <laughs> for the reactors. Sorry, what? So I'm looking at the fusion reactor. I can't see where the power output is. I can only see the power in. Yeah, the fusion reactor. I was wrong about that. Doesn't seem to be a power generation thing. That's that's a uh, a making oh. DT fuel cells. Oh wait. No, oh, no, no power turbines. Turbine, it. Yeah, that doesn't so say the, how the much. Fusion, the fusion reactor. Mm. Uh, it can make sense. You you need power. A small amount of power. Once it's going. Yeah. It's going. But, you but yeah, it doesn't. It. it doesn't say how much power it produces. One point six gigawatts. Right. It says it supports sixteen. Oh yeah. Okay. Advanced turbines. Right. Advanced turbine is 100 megawatts. Okay, so 1. Wait. 6 watts. Advanced turbine. Do you mean a high, no high temperature turbine generator? No, adv an advanced turbine. It said advanced turbine, oh. so I looked at advanced turbine. Advanced is that the advanced steam turbine? No, I wait, where is so. advanced? You don't know. Why would it? 
Why would you use that? Oh, I suppose that's a, that's a, it's, 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 this is a uh, Crastoria being different from space exploration thing, I suspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got its own systems in there. Consumer so, okay, so if that produces 1.6 gigawatts and requires you to use turbines and therefore presumably pump water through it, that's going to be significantly harder to deal, more effort to deal with than the, than the matter reactor. So, uh, so I suggest, yes, we use the matter reactor and you, you, you a singularity reactor, sorry. Um, you've, you've put that in already for, um, uh, for for, uh, for re research, so once that's done, yeah, I think it's going to. I think I think that makes sense for for things like this. Um, even if it is going to take thirty of those to power a dimensional anchor, that makes me think that these dimensional anchors are going to be things that we we turn on for a short time to see what happens, and then turn them all back off again. No, I think you have, that's the challenge. You have to keep them running. Hmm. Hmm. That's going to be a lot of matter we're shipping out to them, or a lot of solar. That's how long one of those matter things lasts. True, true. Mm. So the the yeah the advantage of solar obviously is you don't need to worry about fuel etc. But yeah, as you say, big fuel. Uh, so well, at, we... at Fenestra, it's going to have to be a fuel reactor setup or whatever because yes. you can't do solar. So um, let's so let's let's being, let's do Kalidus with with solar for now, um, and, and and get that get that one up and running. Let's put in singularity reactors once we've researched them in Fenestra because that has to be, <clears throat> and then we can see how 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 much of a faff the singularity reactors are, whether how much power they they drain. We'll also need to take a load of thermofluid out to Fenestra next time we go as well. Um, yeah, and see how and then see how that gets on, and then we can decide based on that what we want to do in other star systems for the other uh, singularity reactors. Sorry for the other. Uh, Dimensional anchors, um, but I, I th we're just going to assume that you have to put each one in a separate star system, are we? And put, put it around I've, central star. It makes sense, but uh, yeah, I've I've got this this gut feeling that we're going to be dealing with generation of terawatts of energy across a distributed network, so you need multiple star systems. Etc. And it's got to all be consistent and very robust. It can't fail, uh, and that's you know just to unlock the next step because I you know that that's not solving the, yes. the symbols quest. Yeah. So either it's a you got to solve A and B and C, and one of them is an intellectual puzzle, and one of them is just a brute force slap down you know two million solar panels or whatever it happens to be. Um, kind of puzzle. Um, Prove that you built a big enough factory, basically, to, to, to yeah, essentially, yeah, essentially, yeah, yeah. Uh, in these, these sort of games, a lot of the a lot of these sort of challenges aren't so much a um, it, a lot of the, the things where where you you're required to make an enormous quantity of something. It's a sort of to prove that you've automated your fact and built up your factory to a point that you can support that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, but you you I mean the the, the Obviously, we haven't done it yet. I'm, I'm just very concerned that it's going to be in the C block kind of thing. Of you end up just sort of sitting there and waiting, which was yes, that technically is what automation is—just sitting there and waiting. No, but I mean, you, you can no, you can always make your make your factory bigger. So, so you find out if, yeah. if, if it is you're short of such a, you're short of naquium, then you put in more. You do more naquium processing, and yes, there is a point where that stops being fun. Mm. Um. But it is, but it's not just sitting there, and, and it's not, it's not, it's not sitting there and waiting for it to do, for, waiting for it to do things. It is still yeah. actively going out it's... and doing stuff. But there is, as I will agree, that there is a limit to when that stops yeah. being fun. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's, you know, the, the the grind is only fun if there's something at the end of the tunnel. And you know, for things like iridium, okay, that's a grind. But at the end of it, you get all the iridium science, which allows you to do all these cool things. Yeah. And you go, okay, fine, that that's fun because it's worth it. Same with all of the other stuff. If it's just the end game thing, it's a case of right. You ground, let's say, twenty hours for the save argument on each of these materials. Now you must do four hundred hours. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, um, I, I understand your point. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, I might be completely off with that, and it might just genuinely be a oh, the first one is this, and the next one is half, and the next one's half that, and the next one's half that, or something like that. Uh, which would be an interesting way of doing it, actually. Hmm. So the gateway to entry is big, but then. Once you've entered, yeah, you, know, you could theoretically argue that each dimensional anchor you put down is building on the stability of the other dimensional anchors, and therefore, in the same way that coal mining gets less efficient, the dimensional anchors get more efficient. 
Yeah, it's, it's possible. That'd be, that'd be a really cool design. I don't think it will do that, if I'm brutally honest, but that'd be a really cool design <laughs> if it does. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm think i with you on that. I, that's, it sounds unlikely, but you, yeah, you, you never know. Um, coal mining does, coal miners do say that they will change. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I suspect it might, but then the other on the on the other, other on the flip side, once you've built a once you've built a dimensional anchor with um, thirty singularity reactors around it, it's not that difficult to copy and paste that to somewhere else. True, true. Um, what's our holmium cable situation like? Because that will uh, cause the solar panels to run out in a few minutes. <laughs> Probably shocking, uh, I'd imagine. We are making them that. The first Maybe advanced science um, thing is completely backed up. Okay. Uh, how much does the train take? So 50, Co currently unloading, going up to space. No, 75,000. Okay. 75, uh, enable, disable. Enable when? Overall, still trying Overall. to catch up. Great. Yeah. Um, 100,000. There we go. And then I'll copy that to the other station as well. Because this one... And you're presumably yes, you're still completely full, so that's fine. Um, but we'll link you up like that. And so you as well, enable disable when crude oil is uh, greater than 100,000. Right, there we go. Boom. Now we have, as well as the uh, the, f f the half a million we have down there, we have another three million available up to here. Check so this, to keep us this happy train get some hol holmium as well. I could duct it, but it's not worth it in this sort of small area, and, and, and the rate we need it at. I mean, these these tanks are there's pro almost these these tanks almost have enough for a train to come over and get it already. So no, I, I don't I don't think there's any need to use ducts here. It would be better, yes, slightly, but we're that getting, just getting enough now. throughput. Okay, I mean, look, there's Cause they get no, supplied to the bus. Then... Mm -hmm. None of these pipes. Oh, the train to the bus. Yeah. Uh, yep. Pro sorry, Naquian tesseracts are no longer being produced because we're out of Naquium ingots. Okay. The I trains was, just departed, but that was a manual send. This is near this is why I've been one. yeah, this is why I've been building up more spaceships because I know we don't have the throughput we need. Um it's I'm not convinced it's going to be enough, but it's going to help. Uh, but, everything is a start, you know, it's, yeah. That's how it do be. We yeah, we have if looking out at um let's have a look at look at uh Stardust again. It is currently uh, it is currently working, but the warehouses are all full. So presumably a spaceship has departed relatively recently. Yes, there we go. The Star Spear is about to arrive. Uh, oh, that'll be good. It'll be good. We can actually check that it's working properly. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got this steady stream of ships on the way out, but then you can see there's a gap here. So we need the ships should be every about this sort of distance because that's how long it takes to load and unload them. So there should be another one here, and then another one just popping out to Kalidus sort of fairly soon. Um, and there isn't, so we we still need more and more and more ships doing doing this route. It the system is so the system is essentially working. We just need more and more spaceships to get the extra <coughs> logistics. Um, either that, or we just um, throw in the towel and make Tashkut. an archer chest. <laughs> um, but no, I think another another four spaceships or so should be okay. Should be enough to at least then we'll be we'll be bringing the um, the, the Naquatite from um, Stardust. We'll be. Producing it more or less constantly in Stardust, we'll have enough spaceships coming in to take it away that we'll have a sufficiency of it. Uh, heh, this tank is now nearly full. And look, then, look how far backed up the um, advanced science cards are. One of them is actually backed up to the point where the machines stop running. Good. And then over on Talos, if I can find the damn planet, here it is, Talos. Um, then once we have, if once we have enough ships that we have a, a constant steady stream of them, we will then also have a constant steady stream of crushed naquatite coming out of here, like we do at the we do right now. But the warehouse only has uh, it's two thirds full. Hopefully by the time it empties, the train will come back down with more. Yes, here it comes. So we're we're doing okay for crushed naquatite at the moment, but all these gaps in the spaceships because we are um, any time when the machines over in Stardust stop running. That means we are then going to have a problem at some point later with the Naquium over here because it's being produ the the belt that's produced the, the system that's producing it up there run produces it at ninety per second and this this item this belt over here runs at ninety items per second so we've got the same input and output they're just separated by an enormous spaceship based logistics system so we have to um, 
so, so we need to have enough spaceships available to keep this running, to keep the uh, the train running. All the train is we always got to have some to pick up, we've always, so we're always able to pass them down here. So we just need to keep putting in more and more and more spaceships until we have enough, and I think that should be okay. <laughs> Welcome back, Persistent, um, for certain values of, uh, of, of back. Of, I, I don't know, you, you sound like you weren't here for long enough for it to really count as being back, or just, it's just welcome, I suppose. Um, yes, being able to dump blueprints straight onto onto water with it, putting in the land filter underneath, will be very, very handy. Even better if it does it with, uh, if, if uh, the next version of Space Exploration supports that for space scaffolding as well, which I expect it will. Uh, yes, this is... I mean, this this is running merrily. Uh, the, there's there's not much to say about it. We've got the uh, we've got the tr the standard trickle of naquium coming out over here. Um, it's it, it, it's it's working as of right now. The problem is we don't have, yeah, as I say we don't have enough spaceships to keep it work, working quite as quickly as I would like it to. Um, I suppose the next thing to do with this would be to build another one of the, another copy of this entire system uh, and put it I don't know up above here or further off or down this way have a second train bringing it down maybe a second spaceship parking up there in orbit more uh, and then we'd need to also have twice as much naquium processing out in in, uh, in stardust or maybe we'd go out to another um, asteroid field and start mining the naquium up there and all naquitite there and have another copy of that processing system um, and to be honest maybe at that point I might actually start thinking that Arcolink storage sounds like a good idea <laughs> um, because yeah there's a, there's, there's a lot <laughs> Yeah, as, as something which can, if it, if it allows you to transport objects, which I think from Discord we heard it did, mm. between surfaces, as in between star systems, opposite ends or opposite sides of your explored space, Ooh, I can actually see a value there. Constellation match, coordinate saved and formed on. That's different from what we normally see, isn't it? That is. Oh, the thing's very angular. Yeah. It's just it's it's, it's yeah, in at the bottom of the list. Maybe it's just the yeah. same as the others then. Okay. All right. I thought it looked different. So no, it's just it's just this thing down here. It's sort of a. It's it's either a goblet or someone standing with their arms up up like uh, like this. Like you can't see because my webcam view is too narrow because I've got it cropped in so it doesn't take up too much. Um, is is that screen space? Definitely. Not the normal message. No, I think it probably it, uh, it may it's quite likely it is the normal message. Yeah, because uh, oh yeah, same, as the, same as the previous one. Same message as the previous one. Okay, we just got big excited. <laughs> yeah, big excited. I thought it, it looked different when it came up, so I um, yeah, no, that's <laughs> oh, well, that's angular. I just yeah, maybe maybe not. No, it was it was it was the text of the message it didn't seem familiar, and yeah, but I've not that's... not been paying enough attention. Um, well, fun, fun fact: My parents are here at the moment, and my my father is a um, well, he retired now, but he spent forty years lecturing in advanced mathematics. Okay. So I might just send in this information and be like, solve this, <laughs> but don't tell us the answer because that'd be cheating. No. Um, although what would be sort of entertaining there is you look at it and go, that's not how it works, <laughs> um, which is fair. Uh, I do remember his criticism of the film Stargate, where he's like, going, you don't need six spatial coordinates like that to map a point in space. That's incorrect. I was like, it is, but it's good fun, though. Maybe think of some of them as, as parity bits to make sure you don't end up in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Right. Well, this this is... Um, what do you mean? We, we, we're, um, we're mostly in the same system. I mean... Uh, I don't. I don't know where Mike has gone now. Actually, he might have escaped. Came back in orbit. Okay. Yeah, we are all in. We are all in various places in the Kalida system at the moment. I think Mark is in in um, in orbit in, in, at Kalida over here, setting up a, the, the the biggest solar field ever. I'm in orbit, uh, getting uh, scaffolding. Okay, he's preparing to do that. <laughs> Tristan's probably hiding somewhere, just playing everything through the navsat as usual. Um, I've, I've I've forgotten where I am because I've been doing that. So, oh yes, I'm out on Agnea setting up um, oil mining. I remember. Um, and yeah, these tanks are easily full enough for a train to come over and get uh, collect from them now. I'm uh, questioning whether the Big Red ship is confused. <laughs> the amount on this pylon here doesn't seem to be changing. It's flickering, but it doesn't seem to be seriously changing, despite the fact that glass is being loaded in. So it may be getting an excessive amount of stuff, but hmm. probably doesn't really matter. Yeah, there is 30,000 glass in the spaceship at the moment, which is a lot compared to any of the other it, things. It um, wants 40,000, but it should be counting that. 30, yeah, it should be counting what's in, the in, in there. Yes, yeah, so that does does seem um, to be a bit suspicious. Oh, that pile on. Oh, yeah, interesting. 
<laughs> There's an Immersite mine oh, on this no, planet. That, it's just not doing anything. That's trying to maintain it in these ones. Oh, that's yeah. Uh, yeah Preloading okay. right, the... Yeah, that's fine. Others, yeah. Yeah. yeah, good point. I remember. That's fine, then. If you don't know what we're talking about, there is a video about well. this. Right. I have no worries that this isn't working. I'll send it off manually. Anyway. Uh, stop pressing the wrong button. Uh, let it load up the glass. That's on it. Okay. Nah. Basically, it's waiting for the glass on the other side. So. Uh, and the rare metals. But... Right. I shall head back to Novis. No, no, but the oh, glass, the is, uh, glass yeah. is empty, as in there isn't any more. So I'm happy <laughs> for anything that's arriving there. Yes, Mark is getting ready to work on his tan. I assume you're not uh, sending any stone or glass back. Or stone or sand. Back. <laughs> if you are, there's a, there's a, a certain solution there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the, the glass problem is a new one, so I didn't bother with it currently. Mm, what are you waiting for? Oh, rare metals. What? I think... Let's try if it's just uh, refilling buffers. Okay, here comes the rare metals. It's half ten and I... Do need to go to bed, I'm afraid. So, thank you very much for the game, and okay. I'll catch you all next time. Thank you for the pyramids. Yeah, we'll we'll I'll take a look at those in the video. Yeah. Bye bye. See you. Thanks in... for the exploration. See you in about three weeks. Yeah. See you. Yes, have a good holiday. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Um, no promises. Chat, make sure you pester Lawrence for videos and content and things like that whilst he's away. <laughs> he won't be able to do anything, but that's not the point. <laughs> may or may not he see what you're doing. to feel guilty. Um, I'm just going to yeah. save. I'm going to try and have at least okay. some videos coming out while I'm away, but uh, we'll, um, yeah, it will be the normal service will be interrupted fairly significantly. There is. Oh. We don't oh. seem to have any Thanks, building. Oi. Yeah, there's a, um, an icon about that at the bottom of the screen. Um, I suppose that's something we should look into, really, isn't it? Uh, mm. That's a isn't it being built but, up uh, here somewhere? He's just run away, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> was it his fault? <laughs> yes. No, that's small. The, the station is here. full. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, has a train been stolen? Th this oh, station here is... No. Oh, that's, uh, that station is also full. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go away, naughty just... train. Warehouse, wasn't it? Yeah, that, basically. Uh, Oh, so the limits were set correctly. It's just the yeah. warehouse was 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 the, also the warehouse was limited. So yes, exactly. Right. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Mike broke something and then ran away. I mean, I say broke something and then ran away. It was probably broken a long, long time ago, and it's only just become a mm -hmm. a thing. Uh. What was I looking at just before that happened? Oh yes, I was. What I was going? Why isn't the Terrace ship left? And it's because it's waiting for all this rare metal to flood through. Uh, that's big rig. This isn't Terrace. So now I have a solid belt of it going in here. How much are we waiting for along here? Um, oh yeah, Tashkusen CME. Oh yeah, when's that? 45, oh, 45 minutes. minutes. So an hour think, and a half. Yeah, so I think I'll be in bed by in then. In a month. <laughs> yeah, it's basically. Uh, it's waiting for thirty-one thousand, but. Um, no way. Oh, I, I don't. I don't know where to look to find the right numbers. <laughs> Maybe it's actually. Is it actually waiting for thirty-one thousand? Surely not. That seems excessive. Yeah, I think it might actually be waiting for thirty-one thousand uh, rare metals. Crikey. Um, okay. Well, actually, we've got almost thirty thousand in there now. So it's. Uh, dis but despite that seeming like an extremely large number, it's very nearly there. Um, hmm. You get through rather a lot of rare metal processing in my site, don't you? But then that's why I had to put in this train uh, last last week with the, uh, the the extra feed into the train that comes up to here to bring even more rare metal through. And as you see, we've well, it's all it's all gone. Uh, but now that is granted because um, both myself and um, Mark, or, or rather the the Big Rid and the um, the Taras ships, are both trying to take the uh, the rare metals at the moment. Actually, no, they're not. Big Rid has stopped. It's, it is now just just Taras that's eating it all up. But um, yeah, both of them want want it, and this one wants crazy crazy amounts of it. 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. So we're ne I'd say that means we're nearly there. Um, I'm not quite sure where to look for it, for the appropriate numbers on here. There should be... A, just put 29... 
I, I don't know. But this ship is very nearly ready, very nearly ready, very nearly full, very nearly ready to go, which is a good thing because we're running not low on Immersion plate. We've still got 11,000 of it over here, <clears throat> but it's th these boxes over here are empty, so I think it's worth um, worth going and getting, trying to get some more. Hint, 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 hint. No, it's still filling up. <laughs> Two beltfuls of it now as well, so it's going going a bit quicker. He did leave us with the challenge, yes, that's one way of looking at it. Uh, but we have also eaten nearly all that rare metal. Jeez. So, uh, another train load has arrived, though, so it's, it's coming through pretty quickly. And this is because uh, last last week I put in uh, this system... Where am I? No. No. Ah. <laughs> it's difficult. Right, I put in this system down here where there's a rare metal train just turning up and then pouring the rare metal straight down a belt and to go into well go into this, this chest down here and then be unloaded straight into the train whenever it comes down so we can hopefully get lots and lots and lots of rare metal being crammed through onto the train as quickly as possible just to get it shipped up to Norbit basically and uh, because we're just ripping through it it's all it's all going straight from here straight over to Taras in, in, in ludicrous quantities uh, and the Taras ship is still not satisfied we've got 33,000 out of a possible... Now, oh no, now a possible 60,000. Okay, so... Have these numbers changed? Are we trying to get 60,000 rare metals into this ship? I mean, it'll fit. Probably, yeah, it'll certainly fit if you sort that like that. It's easily going to fit, but that is a lot of rare metals. <clears throat> okay, no wonder we're having problems here. Um, hmm... And we're going to need to put in an additional train to bring just more rare metals up, like it did to the sulphur. Oh, that was a lot of stutter. Lot of was that an enormous blueprint, Mark? Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Is this an enormous bot swarm happening? Maybe. <laughs> Depends on your yeah. definition of enormous, you know. Mm. About 60 gigawatts. Uh, there's a lot of bots flying past me on Norvis. So. <laughs> Um, if I look around in the right place, will I see a massive area of uh, stone being placed? So they're going down. Where are they going? Also, maybe. Oh, right. The stone area. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the stone area isn't stoned, you know? It <laughs> doesn't make any sense. It does seem a bit backwards. <laughs> oh, dear. So. It makes me wonder how much of this stone is is, is the stone that's being shipped over from um, Mike's planet, the one I've forgotten the name of, um, Andragon. Uh, not that it really matters. There shouldn't there is... be a huge amount because of the way Mark's doing it. Well, I'm not sure I agree with that because the way he's doing it is bringing in whatever stone is available, and then any and then isn't it being it's all being cooked into bricks, and if there's spare bricks, they're getting passed over and put in no, the warehouse. No. If, oh, is it if there's excess in the core area. Oh, in the core yeah. area. Okay. So if the stone in the core area is full, then um, then it passes it through. Takes okay. The stone breaks. Fair enough. <laughs> Better than converting it to matter, I thought. Yeah. Don't know if I go as far as better, but it's certainly a, yeah, <laughs> it seems like a fair alternative, a reasonable alternative. <laughs> Doopy suggesting Mark should look into the concrete mod, which is presumably a mod that allows concrete to, or allows you to just spread concrete out with uh, uh, presumably automation and um, recursive blueprints, essentially. Yeah, yeah nice. Uh, I was actually thinking about, um, you know, uh, if there exists a mod that does uh, such a thing. <laughs> oh, dear. But I didn't dare to uh, suggest adding recursive blueprints just for uh, paving the world. <laughs> yeah, uh, that would. But have been I was a, thinking about it a little it. bit much, I think. Uh, right, I'm. I'm in my what shall I do? What, what shall I do now? Position again. Um, let's jump back up to here and have a have a quick look over at the um, the ship that I'm trying to build. So you're, are you hot yet? You know, seven and a half thousand degrees. That's pretty good. Where what what were there any other ships on the way back? There's a couple of ships that aren't quite nav uh, well, aren't docking with Norvis properly at the moment. Um, I imagine it's probably because they are well one oh one of them's Taras two so that's fair because Taras one is still filling up. I can't tell what the other one is because it's written because the text is underneath Taras uh, Taras two. Oh, I think it might be the orange. No, yeah, or I think it's orange and also something else that looks like a capital B in there to me. 
<clears throat> yeah, I think seven and a half, eight thousand degrees is enough. So we're going to jump you to. Uh, oh no, we need. To, uh, there's a cable I need to put in first, and that was the red one, because I did. I did the. I did the green cable over here. Now I need to do the red cable from here to here. There we go. And then I can tell you to where are you going. You are launching from Norbis Orbit, are you already? Okay, fair enough. Blip. And plop. No, these ships aren't automatically re-anchoring. And I don't really know why not. I only need to keep an eye on the uh, Star Spear when it comes back and find out if that one lands properly. Plop. There we go. Let's see if it has landed properly out in um, out here. Yeah, it's on its way back. So it landed successfully in Stardust. So maybe it's just if you just launch from Norbis Orbit, it won't automatically dock in Norbis Orbit. That would make a certain amount of sense. Uh, and if that is the case, I certainly wouldn't complain about that. Um, it's just something to be aware of. We Oh no, we're not out... Oh, we've got enough sulphur out in, um, in Stardust. No, we've got enough sulphur out in Stardust that we only need to take, like, 220 or 230 or so. Um... Yeah, I think the I think our UPS is I, I don't know I don't really know how to, I don't really know whether to say yes 35 39 UPS is good or whether it's bad or it's it just it just is um, the factory has grown quite a lot over the time but it's most of the time the game the game still feels playable it just means things like researches and waiting for spaceships to fly to places all that sort of stuff takes a bit longer than it otherwise would um, because a lot of what you're doing is actively building or thinking or clicking on things time. As long as the game stays responsive, it doesn't actually matter what uh, what speed it runs at, uh, to an extent. Um, especially when you're using Navsat view. Yeah, so okay, I don't understand why these ships aren't automatically redocking when I create them then, um, because they're all set up correctly, and they're docking. And the other one I made docked to somewhere else without any problems as well. So I'm not using the template though. I've copied and pasted one of the other um, one of the other ships. So, so all of the settings and everything is correct, and also because I want the um, the one with the heat exchanger on it. Uh, so I, yeah, I did a copy and paste of one of the other ships. I haven't been using the template for making these. Also, this is called the Goose. I need another star, uh, star related name. I'll call it Star Lord for now until someone comes up with something better. And we can also get an extra thousand degrees or so while it's sitting here waiting for. What are you waiting? Oh, you're waiting for waiting for steam to get up to forty-five thousand. Of course, that's the that's what takes the time filling this tank up here with steam. So the question is, where is Stardust? So Stardust is on its way. It's um, I might launch once the, once Stardust is nearly here. I'm tempted to launch the um, the Star Lord just just because it's going to easily have enough steam in it. Because if we look at if we take if we take Stardust as an example, we'll see presumably this is still at yeah. This is, again, it's at forty-five thousand. Yeah, 45,000 steam, so it, it clearly doesn't use more than 5,000 for the loop, so we'll be alright with that. Um, it gets the destination from the dock, yes. So from here it doesn't know where to go. Although the fact that this one went to Kalidus orbit, or Norvis orbit, is interesting. What I don't understand is why it then doesn't automatically dock. Because it, the docking is, is done from inside the ship. We have the clamp set up here in this combinator and fed into the into the spaceship console here. So it should have all of the settings for where, where to dock set correctly. Unless it's just launching... Oh, no, it'll be launching with no destination. So it's not going to... It's not so maybe it's not technically going to Norvis Orbit, but it's also not leaving Norvis Orbit, so it's a weird sort of edge case. Yeah, alright, with the next one I make, I'll set the destination, and I won't be able to set the destination because it's already feeding something into it. I will, I'll stop worrying about it to be honest. I think I think you're probably right, Dooper, yes, I think it probably is because it's being told to go to somewhere that doesn't exist. It launches, but whilst it's in Norvis Orbit, it's not going to Norvis Orbit, and therefore it doesn't automatically dock. Yeah, I think you might well be right there. We shall see. Actually, no, we won't see. Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll see with the other one when it comes back. But uh, this one, we will, uh, we yeah, we'll never see when we make a new one because it was always going to have the. Um, uh, it's always going to be have to have the same settings. Stardust is still quite a way out. You're at 
this is probably going to get, you know, this is going to be close enough to getting to forty-five thousand uh, steam before, um, before, before I launch it anyway. So I'm just going to just let it run. Um, over here, we've still not made any of the sp any of the new spaceship because the bots have to fly blooming miles, and we're running at like less than two thirds speed. So yeah. Oh, <laughs> it tried to place a clamp, but it couldn't because. It's weird, isn't it? So most things, it will say, "No, I can't place this because that's empty, empty space." So we've, we've not got we've not got bots coming out trying to place the heat, the uh, the beam receiver, for example, but they do come out and try and place the clamp, and then realise they can't when they arrive, which is a bit weird. Oh well, never mind. Um. I say I'm in that weird. I don't really know. I just don't know what to do with myself. Uh, phase of the game at the moment, um, but it's, it's late enough that I don't want to start any massive um, plans. <clears throat> but it's also early enough that I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm still thinking I could do fiddle, fiddle with a few more things. Um, but I mean, I think I've, I've, I've essentially done all of this. Uh, Stardust. I, well, I'm still doing the more Stardust ships, but kind of done that. Um, you want a random minor thing? Sure. You could make equipment gantries on Norvis. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not a bad idea. Um, I'm setting up stuff to use them, but I haven't got to the point of actually making them yet. Okay, yeah, I could probably do that. Uh, I'm just looking at the, looking down the list to see if there's anything else in here that's struggling. Um, I I am a little bit worried about the uh, the rate that the the rare metals are being brought through for Immersite. Um but other than that, well, we've made we've we've poked the all we've poked all the rest of the things at least to an extent, and there's, there is a certain amount of everything being brought through. I'll let that build up a little bit more. We are gradually getting through the um, the beryllium over here. And we don't have more being brought in. Uh... Oh, oops, Star Lord has left, over, has left over there. And Starstruck has just left Talos. So this is going quite well. Down here, we've got beryllium chugging through. Yeah, oh, oh we've, got, uh, we've sent up a full track. A full train has gone, and we've got um, yeah, half a train's worth available down here. And filling up with sulphur, good as is as is expected. Up here, we've got a nearly full spaceship. So I feel like the beryllium is just holding on okay. It's struggling. It's it's but it is just about keeping up. Um, that's oh, I want I want to drop this in when when the heat exchanger can be placed but it can't but of course it's such a big thing i don't mean heat exchanger i mean when the um uh when the when the beam receiver can be placed but it's such a big thing that it that given the randomness of the of the placing of, of, of all the, all the bits and pieces down it's fairly likely that that's going to be something that you can't place let's put the rest of the blueprints in anyway because well why not oh that might be no 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 they're still down down the bottom left there those those these two down here need to be done i think before before we can uh, before I can actually build it which one are you going to? At oh, the bottom one. Oh no, you're going all the way over there. Uh, I can't believe I'm staring at bots trying to work out which bit of which bit of flooring they're going they're going to go in and put down. <laughs> and that's nearly everything. The only there's only like three important in, in, three actual internal bits that I've that I've uh, not been able to put down, and one of them is the one that's important to get down first. <laughs> Typical. Now everything is done except the. Uh, Except the heat exchanger, uh, except the beam receiver. I'll do this, then I'll get Tristan's equipment gantry built. There we go. Right, now that's at least requested. So I can now go down to planet level. Oh yes, we finished Singularity Reactor Research, you're right. Uh, <laughs> oh, the randomness of the bots. Oh, and the judder of the game when, it's, when there's so many bots doing things. Okay, so equipment gantry. Uh, I have thought about what they take. They take small electric motors, iron chests, and iron plates. <laughs> so, uh, iron chests and electric motors, basically. Um, or iron and electric motors, basically. So we've got. Uh, we've got mm, there we go. There's iron, iron plates. Iron, so I can put. Yeah, basically iron and iron. And so, uh, and I can't uh, I can fit that in there with some undergrounds actually. So I put that there and that there, and I put some under and I underground this belt from here to here. And I can put an inserter there. Oh, I've just rotated everything because lag of game. That there <coughs> and that there. You can make 
You can make iron chests, which is that one, which is just iron plates. You can make. I'm not going to be able to put them. In. I'm not going to be able to unload these. I didn't think that. I didn't think that that far through. Um, do you want the unloading gantries as well as the loading gantries, or just the unloading? Nah, the... just the loading. Okay. If you maintain a stock level of one, that's going to be plenty. Okay. I'll bring that here as well. And we want a red box here. And then we need to wait for these to actually be placed, because uh, then I can put a control. Then I can control this thing so it doesn't get carried away. Oh, and I need to put a pile on in apparently as well. Otherwise, we're not going to get any of them. And I think any is not. I think none is not the, the, the number of them that Tristan would like to have. Come on, bots. Uh, otherwise, that is not quite set up. Uh, no, wait. What am I doing? Don't do that. Do that, and that, and that, and say enabled when gantry is less than z is zero. Oh. One has been placed. Second one is on its way. They don't exactly take a long time to build, so uh, you're going to get them out about as, qu about as quickly as you could possibly mm -hmm. deal with them. Uh, oh, it takes three iron chests. That's the part that takes the longest to build. Actually, it's, it's the it's the waiting for the yellow belt to bring in enough iron plates to build the thing that takes the most time. <laughs> the first one placed was the last one for normal uh, locomotives. The second one placed was the first one for space locomotives over here. Ooh. Um, I don't understand... So each each one will only put one thing. Oh, I see. So you put, oh right right yes you put a locomotive in at the top and it goes it goes down and getting yeah. all the things put into it. Uh, now, okay now I now I understand. It goes down because it has to do the uh, engines first. Yeah. No, that's okay. I, I I didn't understand how an equipment gantry it worked. I I was expecting it to be a sort of the sort of thing that you put a um uh that a train drives under and it gets loaded. But no, that, that isn't, ah. of course that's not how it works. All the bots are hiding over uh, in Mark's area. <laughs> haven't, haven't placed that <laughs> the last few belts. They're not busy anymore. It feels very strange no. to be building stuff with yellow belts again. I there was no point using any. Using uh, oh, agreed. Ones. But it just it just feels strange. I'm not I'm not saying it feels I'm not saying it's wrong. Just that it feels odd. Also, there's a ludicrous like belt bringing uh, bringing radars over from where radars are being made over to the to make artillery shells. <laughs> mm. Oh dear. Yeah, I've had to use uh, red inserters to get past it. <laughs> I mean, it's a blue belt. I could have undergrounded it. Yeah, an underground would have gone under the hot entire thing. Yeah, so that's why that's a blue belt. When then it's oh it's being oh it's being fed off by blue belts off to go up to space as well. So there's an even longer belt of um of radars going all the way down to the train system to take yeah. stuff up into space. That's uh silly, but I think if they're a, if they're an actual resource that's used for a science pack, that kind of makes sense. I want to see this actually work. Hmm. I was just thinking. I'm curious as to how the um. Picked up a lot of batteries. Um, I'm, I'm curious as to how the unloading works. I mean, obviously, if, if you turn a train into a, and you put a loaded train through, but how do you convert it? I suppose you pick it up with bots. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Still seems a bit weird though. Or it's one that you have in item form still because you realised you loaded it wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's not an automated thing. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you have you have yellow chests uh, filtered to the uh, the vehicles so that any that are in the system get fully unloaded and then put back into the start and then the outputs go into red chests like this yeah that could so work if, if, if one gets picked up somewhere you don't know what state it's in mm, so it'll get tidied up and it, cleaned out yeah. and so on yeah that makes certain sense 
Oops, space trains can. Uh, oh, no, not quite. No, it's still. Battery one. placed. There we go. I mean, these batteries are still, but. Yes. I might go through and set all these stack sizes to one. Oh, and the inserters? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it'll make any difference in the long run. Because presumably these boxed machines can be filled up to whatever level they can be filled up to. Mm. Ooh. Did it make it all the way through? No. I saw a load of the vertical inserters going. And I'm not sure where the train, where, oh. where it got to. No, they can't have done. No, they can't have done. Been placed yet. I'm sure I saw the vertical inserters running in a sort of a, a swoop. I saw a bunch of movement happen. No, it's probably the horizontal ones. It's just they were running a bunch of times because I've set the boss name to one. Maybe. Yeah, you're right. It can't have worked, but it looked like. But I, I, I thought I saw. I thought I saw all the vertical inserters run. Oh yeah, the yeah. Because that one has motors in. That's wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Ish. I didn't think it could. So it's passed the motors through. That's problematic. Yeah. You have to use long insert. You have to use filter inserters there for that. Yep. Oh yeah, and you've got a, yes, you've got a um, you've got a load of uh, B yeah. energy receivers in that one. Yeah. That's weird and unhelpful. But I guess, yeah. Maybe there's a, re maybe it's potentially useful. I wouldn't like to say. Oh, your trains are going through now. Are you are you okay with that? Okay, I okay. stopped. <laughs> hmm. Regular says he thinks you've got the vertical inserters in the wrong place. Oh, so they've got chests on the side with the stuff ah. they want to load, into, and in the middle with, with the thing you pass through. So So I need it like that. Ah. Yeah. If you if you mouse over it, then there are three hotspots that appear. You've got you've got um, item output, grid item out input, grid item output. So. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. This then. Equipment gantry item equipment item input. Gantry grid item output. Gantry grid item input. Yeah. So you you're yes the um the ones down on yeah. Bleh. Yes, yeah, so you're going to have to put the, um, the the ground trains in from the bottom and have them go upwards. Uh, that's going to be difficult. I can t if you because if, if you rotate I can them, turn it over. If you, oh yeah. If you rotate them, the uh, 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 equipment item in input will be on the wrong side. Okay, right. Let's rework this. <laughs> oh well. At least you've got all the machines yeah. made now, so it'll be quicker next time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a bit fiddly. Uh, no, the, pro the problem with the um, yes, yeah, so the, the, the 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 this system on the left can probably be made to work if we if we. Although these have got these have got the motors in them, and I'm not quite sure why. How have those got in? Uh, I don't know. I want to rotate, rotate one of these, but I also don't want to mess around up. with your system. <laughs> uh, you can rotate them, it's fine. Uh, I'm going no, to hold the thing up. <laughs> Cannot be rotated. Uh, it can be before it's placed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, <laughs> Splurge. How do you manage that? I don't know. <laughs> Where am I? What was I doing? Oh, I've gone back to Norvis. Why, was, why have I... Oh, yes, I finished on Agnea, and then I came back over here because that's what you do when you finish somewhere. You come back to Norvis because that's the standard place to land and what? think about what you've done and stuff. And then... I dumped them on the belt. <laughs> oh, no. I it with radars. <laughs> it's probably because they, they've probably got some sort of weird inventory thing. Rather than being, mm. rather than counting as chests, there's something funny about them. I suspect. <laughs> Doopy says the blueprint editor is your friend, Tristan. <laughs> I 
Chris does talk. <laughs> yes, probably is. Mm. I think it might be a good idea to stop fairly soon, though, I'm afraid. Um, although I know you're going to want to carry on poking at that until it works. But uh... I have holiday tomorrow, so uh, open man. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I'm going on holiday in a few days, and um, I suppose I'll have recovery time there, but I don't know, I'm just <laughs> feeling fairly tired today, that's all. <laughs> I thought I saw something jammed up, but no, it's jammed up in the good way. <laughs> that's alright, it's not jammed up with uh, dodgy data cards. Thinking of, how is our recycling system going? Because I talked about this quite a lot in the in the last video, um, but it looks like things aren't running too aggressively at the moment. Um, there's not too much scrap coming through. That's probably because we don't have any science running at the moment. I bet we've run out of whatever it is you need for mining productivity research. Um, yes, the research has stopped. What have we run out of? Oh, we've run out of Bio 4, I think. Um, yes, Bio 4. Do you want to set a different research going, Tristan? Um, Anything it doesn't. We've got everything but Bio 4 by the looks of it. I suspect uh, energy is not going to last a huge amount of time. Okay. How's, how's the Astro in the Astro, astro part itself? Um, completely backed. But well, it's backed up out of the station anyway. Um, okay, I'll set another long way star mapping going. Yeah. Yeah, we seem to have oodles of that. Uh, how the beryllium's going to hold up, I wouldn't like to say, but uh, <laughs> the um, the catalogs, yeah, oh, the catalogs are backed up all the way for one, two, and three, and and four, yeah, completely backed up. So yeah, rip through all all you want of those, uh, just as long as we don't run out of beryllium, we'll be fine. <clears throat> and that seemed to be going okay-ish. Uh, I noticed that there's the um, there was the energy shield Mark Six. That uses only uses energy energy three and material four, so that might be one that can be done. Other than that, yeah, as I think as I discovered, a portable portable singularity reactor is um, is only deep space three, uh, at matter uh, sorry advanced two matter two and nothing else nothing else, and late late game anyway. So you said a lot of words and I was thinking of other things at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> portable singularity reactor could be done. And that's about uh, it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you commented that that was basically rubbish. But, yes, yeah, it's, it's worth doing to churn through the uh, Deep Space 3s in case they're still blocking. That's true. They might not be now. Yeah, and then after that, essentially, we need to get the... Um, I think we need to get the the, uh, the, 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 oh, um, the energy science fixed. <laughs> that is the cause of all our problems. They've, they've churned through. We've oh, okay. all, uh, deep oh yeah, so they have. Clean. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, energy four is only it, it comes out. There's, there's some on the belt, but it does only goes about a fraction of the way up to the um, up to the system systems. And as you said, that's the that all down to holmium cables. Are you do you reckon that holmium is now okay? It's just it's just playing catch up. Um, so I, I want to boost it more. Uh, I want to take some better modules over to uh, the core stuff there. Right, okay. And uh, there was something else. Ooh, Iridium is almost half full. Iridium is now the best looking out of all of the, uh, well, uh, yeah, out of all of the exotics, if I count all of the bio, all of the Vita ones, to, or if I pick the worst of the Vitas, <laughs> which is slightly unfair, but uh, it's, it's, sadly it's what matters. Because, uh, yeah, Holmium is dead, Beryllium is virtually dead, and um, Iridium is half full. So, well done, Mike. Uh, so, over here, yeah, I think I am going to have to do a, a rebuild of the... Um, Beryllium production. I think one more, one more train, and this will be maybe two more trains. This will be ready to go. The sulfur is all unloaded, so that's good. We seem to have enough sulfur over here now, so that's at least, at least that's working. This train's practically practically full, so that's good. Yeah, there we go. Starting to back up now. 
Oh, did it? Um, Nequiem, Nequiem, Nequiem. Nequiem does say it's full. And Mike did say he'd run out earlier. Yes, these two things are not mutually exclusive. We might have had some more Nequiem arrive. Um, yeah, we've got lots of Nequiem at the moment. But the train is away. And can we, oh, it's, it's almost back now, actually. Let's see. Let's, let's, it'll fill up very, very quickly. And we'll see if it, it departs again immediately. Um, like that. <laughs> That's how quickly a Nequiem... Yeah, so it's... Yeah, there is, there's clearly been a bit of a shortage of Nequiem. And the train is trying to, trying to bring it back up. Trying to bring the... Um, uh, the other end back up to where it's supposed to be. But we do have, yes, we have a decent amount of it available at the moment. We have a lot of the crystal. We are apparently filling up on, well, we're filling up over here as you do. Uh, oh. <laughs> Naquium is going to have problems because we've run out of Vitalic Reagent. Um, I know my Mark has been um, has been working on that and boosting it, but the, yep. uh, it, hasn't, it, hasn't, it hasn't trickled through to this point yet. So, we're, uh, yeah, that's, that's the problem. Or he's going to be... That's that's stopping the ship departing. However, the other end is probably still going to be making lots and lots of um, uh, Naquium. So maybe it'll be okay when we get around to needing it. Uh, the Naquium doesn't seem to have come... Ugh, that was a lot of lag. I don't even know where the Naquium is supposed to come to around here. Is it this one? No, that's uh, processes. This one, probably. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> and, yep, I was right. Okay, so, the, yeah, the Naquium is being brought over, but we are struggling to... We're, we're using it faster than the train can keep up with at the moment, which is un unfortunate. Problem is, train holds, like, I don't know, very, very little. I, th I think it holds a thousand Naquium because it uh, it stacks so badly. And then that gets come up, so comes up here. This, this this system over here then chews through it incredibly quickly. Um, and then as do, as do all the, as does all the rest of it. So, yeah, the uh, the train is struggling to keep up. The uh, <laughs> and just, yeah, Naquim is difficult. Put it that way. Now, we've got lots of the crystals though for some reason. That seems to have gone a bit berserk and, and slightly carried away. Over here, right? That's um, full there. Uh, opposite end. Uh, spaceship is filling up. How are you doing? Another thirty, another forty, another forty. Okay, so that that train load. Oh, actually, maybe this is, unless this is the second. No, it can't be the second train load that's come up. How big are these from? Oh, the train is two hundred stacks. Okay, so this train load will will fill up the spaceship, and the spaceship will depart once it once this uh, from from this train load. So that's good. That's going well with the uh, with the beryllium there. Uh, Naquium, we have a tenth of a ship up here, and the system is presumed probably still working down here. And we've got a bit of a backlog yeah we've got at least we do have another 6,000 vitalic reagent over here so we're not in crisis levels yet we can carry on producing which means when the ship turns up there will be oh no we reckon we've got enough so the uh, production has stopped over here I don't know if I believe I, I don't know if I I, I, I mean I say production stopped. no production is still running um, but we've stopped putting it in in, in, in up here um, we haven't had to use the uh, the emergency stop down here yet. Um, but we might do at this rate. So where was where was Norbis Orbit? No, this is Talos Orbit. Norbit, Norbis Orbit. Here we go. Um, so now we're waiting to see if the train, if that train that's battling backwards and forwards with the um, with the uh, with the, picking up the Naquium ingots from here, is going to be able to empty this system <coughs> sufficient for it to start loading the train up again at the other end. Um, I sort of hope it will. <coughs> Um, before it starts produ before it stops producing it, because we do need we do, we clearly need to keep the naquium flowing. Uh, we're using it at such a rate that train has stopped halfway a lot halfway there, which is very helpful. Why are you going so slowly? Obviously, there's another train in the way, but I think this 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 uh, this train could do with one of your boosts, Tristan. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, send it down the elevator and then to the uh, station called uh, uh, it, it's far too busy for that <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah it's too it's too busy to be improved um, hmm. do you want to make an upgraded train send it up and then I'll, I'll program it and then demolish it or send this one away send this one down to be re something uh, no because I'm have all actually send the oh how do we do this i could send it i could just send it down and not worry about it i suppose yeah uh we also want to send down all the existing uh 
locomotives mm. that are up there. Okay, I'm sending it down, Norvis down. Um, it's then going to... No, I'm not. Apparently I'm not. Norvis down. There we go. Right. <clears throat> it's going to come out the bottom and looks like and stop and look very, very confused. No, send it to train boosting. Oh, sorry. It's not going to show there. It's going to have to it from over here. Boosting. <clears throat> Just the once. That'll be fine. Uh, no weight condition. Uh, wait, wait condition until uh, passenger present or something that so it'll never leave. Okay, it probably wouldn't leave because it wouldn't have anywhere it understood how to go to. But yeah, that's fair. Okay. So that's coming, going to come out, pop out here. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> okay, but it seems to be this one because it's gone in in a weird place that I don't recognise. Oh, I There's see. a long queue with the thought of... Uh, Sending lots and lots of them down. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now I can then put in um, Norvis up. Um, and delete the Norvis down one. Uh, yeah, like that. <laughs> okay, thank you. The train... The Norvis up should be removed long term. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll catch it when it comes out of the top. Uh, probably. So hopefully that'll mean we'll yeah we'll now be able to dispose of the uh, Naquim ingots a little bit more quickly, um, which will make things even worse for the uh, for the Naquim production because it's going to struggle to struggle even more to keep up because the train's going to be capable of dealing with it, taking it away faster. However, it'll make all our science stuff work a little bit maybe a little bit better. I don't know. We can we can, we can hope. We can but hope. Although granted, at the moment nothing's going to happen until until the uh, spaceship from Big Red arrives with some more um, with another ten green bottles. But so, um, but at least having the um, having the train coming in over here, taking away the, uh, the the ingots from here, will mean that when the spaceship arrives at the other end, then we'll get uh, we'll already have everything. Um, we'll already hopefully have a warehouse full of naquium ingots for it to pick up and take away with it when it goes. So, it is worthwhile. To <laughs> fills up so quickly. It's not going that fast now. I wonder if its batteries are all drained. Yes, his, his batteries are all drained, so it's not it's not accelerating particularly impressively. Uh, I wonder if it's actually got anywhere where it can charge up, because with it being... Um, oh, probably not. Probably not. Yeah. So I need to put some Tesla coils in. Uh, where yeah. does it go to here? I think, yes, it is this one. Um, Tesla. Uh, put one there. How close together can you put them? It won't, won't tell uh, me. It, you can't tell until it. Uh, I, I would just put one in the middle. Okay. Because that one, because the, the one that you put in will probably reach both. Yeah, that'll reach both easily. Okay. I'll put one at the other end of the world as well, over here, for it to charge them up when when it's uh, picking up the Naquium. Uh, I'll put it there. That works quite nicely. All right, that's going to take a while to be placed. What's going on over here? Oh, I see. Tristan's spaceship's getting refilled. That's fine. Actually, no. Leave that one there. I changed my mind. Put it back. There we go. <laughs> hey, did the same... Oh, it was one of my bots. That's why I put it back. Okay, fair enough. Um... Right, I think I'm, I think it's probably going to be time to head off to bed because I've got to the point where I'm not really doing very much. I'm just going around, sort of gently poking at things because that, that um, need that, that, um, without really being particularly effective at, at, at anything. Um, I will go have a quick look at Talos and see if it started producing, doing the passing the Naquium through again. Yes, it, oh, yes, it has. We're now loading that straight into the um, uh, straight into the warehouse up here, ready for the train to come and grab it when it whenever it's whenever it's ready. Uh, but that could be could be some way off. Uh, so um, I think yes, I'm going I'm to call an end of the stream. Are you two uh, reasonably happy with that? Uh, yeah. Give me a few seconds to unload some. That's fine. I'm going I'm going I'm going to talk to people and tell them I'm going to be missing for a while anyway. So uh, yeah. So so it's going to be yes. Yes. Thank you for watching from me. I, now this will be the last stream for a while because I'm going away on holiday later this week. Uh, so I'm not going to be doing the uh, the Wednesday night um, satisfactory stream. Um, and then I won't be here next week at all, or the week after at all. So the next stream will be the 15th of um, of April. So two and up. So three weeks today.
Um, yeah, it's a bit, bit, bit of a, a bit of a long one, I'm afraid, but uh, hopefully you'll you'll all cope without me. I do have a few videos in the pipeline that should be coming out, so I will. I'm going to be doing my um, doing my utmost to get the uh, get the, um, the 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 summary videos done for this weekend. So hopefully those those will be out on uh, at the weekend as normal, um, and then there'll be a couple of others. Hopefully again, vir the virtually finished uh, that will come out at while whilst I'm away. I'll schedule those, so the channel won't be completely dead, but it will be a lot quieter than normal. Um, but so yeah, it, it's still still a good reason to be subscribed to the uh, channel because then you'll you'll see the occasional ones that come out, and then of course uh, when when things start up again as normal when I get back again. So yeah, there will be there'll there'll still be a uh, still a lot lots to come in the future but until then it's going to be a bit quiet I'm afraid um, but as ever thank you very much for watching I feel like it's it's not been one of my most productive streams since I've not built a huge area of stuff but I've gone around and, and checked on things and poked things a bit and and I feel like I've got things working sort of nicely and, and, and things are mostly flowing and things seem to be going well the beryllium's not going very well the holmium is struggling may, may may have caught up the bio stuff is is struggling a little bit what's what something's just got blown up what's that oh it's Taishikusha that's fine um <laughs> The iridium seems to be catching up, actually. So the iridium has gone from being the thing that is always the problem to the the one thing that isn't a problem, which is quite impressive. Um, the naquium production. Well, I'm 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 sincerely hoping that this one uh, one belt worth of input is going to is going to carry on being generally about enough, because if not, it's going to be very very difficult to expand it to produce produce even more. Um, although I'm. We'll, we'll find a way. Um, so yes, we'll come back again in about three weeks to try and uh, try and improve all of these things. Uh, we're on to the sort of the, the downhill stretch now. I think we've got we've got all of the science packs being made. Um, there's a number of re quite a lot of research is left to be done. So we, we do need to beef up the production of some of these science packs a bit. But in general, we are, we are we've got all of this all this stuff built up. So now we can start thinking about the puzzle a bit more. Which is why we had Mike going off to all the pyramids and investigating those and digging up um, digging up bonus modules and things from them and uh, and seeing what he could find. So yeah, th I think things are going going pretty well at the moment. We just need to keep. Um, Keep churning through the science, basically, and then thinking about the thinking about the puzzle. So that should be good fun. So thank you, everyone. Thanks. Um, well, do, 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 do. Thank you, thank you, No Guard, Madman, Doopy, regular, very much appreciated. I'm sure I'll uh, hopefully have a good time out there. And um, well, if you've missed a lot of the streams, Madman, you can always uh, you can always watch the vods if you want. They're all all on the YouTube channel. But uh, I know it's not quite the same if you can't uh, if, if you can't join in and chat with the streamer. So uh, yeah, I, 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 I would would understand uh, either way. Um, but yes, there's, as I say, lots of lots on the channel to 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 watch. So um, yes, I think I've now run out of things to say. So once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, see you in a few weeks. <laughs> bye bye. Watch it, Mike.